Good morning. Oh gosh, the hot tub. I forgot I had the hot tub background on from uh, yesterday. Oh well, it's okay. It's going to be a hot tub stream this morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you? Hope hope you are well. Uh, North Lodge, first in chat. What's up, North Lodge? How are you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. Good to see you. And uh, Lima Kilo Mike also in the house. Welcome on in. Hope you are. Hope you both are doing really really well. I am doing great. It's uh, it's early. Well, it's not really early. It's eight a.m. But apparently too early for me to be awake and check to make sure that I'm not in the hot tub. So how's everybody doing this morning? We're going to be flying in Japan. This will be our last day in Japan. Uh, starting Saturday, um, we'll actually leave Japan. Picking up the kids for still lurking for a bit. No problem at all, North Lodge. I actually lurked in your channel while I was getting ready this morning. When I got up, I saw you were streaming. So I went ahead and uh, lurked on your channel while I was getting ready. Bone Loose. What's up? Oh, that's right. Bone Loose was first in chat. Yeah, you were really early. What's up, Bone Loose? In fact, uh, when I was checking the weather, uh, when I started Microsoft Flight Sim, I saw you at the airport. Hope you're doing well. You're working too. No problem, Lee Mikila Mike. I uh, understand. I will be doing the same uh, in a few hours. I'll be working as well. So I totally understand. But I'm doing good. I'm going to switch out of the hot tub. Um, there we go. We'll get in the plane. <sighs> Got to dry off. There we go. I just shook it off. Scarf Show us those signs. Airlot Doc. Airlot Doc. Check your points. Check your points. Oh, a day off today. Nice. Very good. So my socks of the day. Uh keeping with the keeping with the island theme. Uh who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob. And then uh palm trees on the other side. You're not gonna spend another point today. <laughs> SpongeBob on the right, palm trees on the left. Trying to keep it island themed. <laughs> did you get your points back though i did redeem them i think i did it right i just wanted to make sure you did <laughs> welcome on in there a lot doc so let me do some shout outs for our good friends uh who i know that are streamers north lodge is a streamer um bone loose i can't remember if you're a streamer or not no don't do that Okay, good deal. Yeah, so I got it right then. Because I did, I denied it. Jack of I, what's happening? How are you doing today? Good to see you, Jack. I hope you are well. Welcome on in. That's right. I knew Bone Loose was a streamer. I've been in Bone's stream before. Sheesh. Ah, oh, so many streamer friends. It's hard to keep them straight. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, so yesterday we continued our tour of Japan. Today we're going to continue that flight in Japan. And then uh, Friday I'm doing the tour of England. Just a one day or one night tour of England. And then Saturday morning we will uh, leave Japan and head, make our way northwest on our way back, on our way to Alaska. We'll just really do some, my gosh, what I can't talk. We will be doing some island hopping Saturday morning. Uh, but Friday evening, I'm really looking forward to Friday evening. Y'all know I look forward to every stream. So let's switch to the PC scene. There we go. Switch to the right scene. And get rid of this. So in real life, hey Weston, what's up, dude? How are you doing? The Westinator89 um, is a good friend, a longtime friend of the community here. Uh, Weston, I used to have a custom shout out, but I redid my. Um, yeah, I don't see it anymore. I redid my stream deck and I, I don't have it anymore. So Westinator used to be on Twitch, but he switched over to Trovo and he is killing it over on Trovo. Good deal, man. I am glad you're doing good, Weston. Weston, please, please post a link to your Trovo channel. 
we are doing really well thank you we are doing really well hey duracell what's going on we are in on a us east east us server uh the weather in japan right now is horrendous uh it's like really really nasty weather uh wrong wrong map sheesh there so here's our weather as you can tell so this is us right here and you can see this weather system it is awful weather there's one little area that's clear so i did change from live weather i am not flying live weather today uh tam's doing great she's um i, I don't know if you know she's expecting another child her her third child um should it and they've got it um They've got a C-section scheduled for September 30th. I think it is, Weston. But yeah, they're doing good. Thank you so much. Okay, that's right. I forgot your... Yeah, I forgot your on our Instagram. All right. So, um... I need to dig up my checklist. Y'all, I've realized... I was watching Captain Arash last night and i realized that i have been super lazy <laughs> you're moving on that day <laughs> hey both be busy yes yes we will um i realized that i've kind of been lazy about um you know the, the starting sequence of my plane um when i watched captain arash's stream last night like he went he's got the checklist and i've got a checklist somewhere for this plane but he went through the checklist properly and all that stuff whereas i just jump in and crank it up so i want to start doing things more realistically a little bit at a time and that's one of the things i really need to uh, work harder on is like the checklist and, and properly i'm um, doing the starting sequence paying more attention to the gauges and stuff like that but not today not today so for now we'll turn on oops wrong wrong there we go turn on battery power jump outside the plane let's check our controls so full left aileron we're good full right aileron we're good we're not hitting anything um everything feels nice and smooth not hitting the mic full down elevator full up elevator is also good and smooth rudder left right we're good there bacon what's up bacon how are you doing good to see you sir and then flaps and flaps are operating properly also um let's see here I'm gonna try to give my buddy weston a shout out but i don't think i have trovo oh i do okay cool All right, so Westinator, um, who was in here, I was telling y'all that he he streams over on um, Trovo. There's a shout out for Weston. Um, I promise you, you will have fun. You will have fun on Weston's stream. I hung out with him and Bealzy, uh, who's another member of the community last night on Bealzy's stream, and man, it was amazing. Bealzy was actually the top 20 stream one of the top 20 streamers on trovo last night it was it was pretty cool pretty epic uh pretty epic times there he totally was broke um he, he couldn't talk couldn't think i've been there and hey, there he is right there there's bilzy it was just talking about you bilzy what's going on dude uh you're in america it's a cowboy place water your horse check the saddle and yeehaw did john wayne ever do a checklist before he saddled up heck no yeah, I just, <laughs> I get it. Cappy Stick, how's it going this morning? Bacon, for sure. Glad you're living the dream. Awesome, awesome. Bealzy, dude, your stream last night was absolutely amazing. And I know, I think you're live right now. Uh, I think you are. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like Bealzy may be live right now, but um, let me give Bealzy a shout out. Matt, what's going on? You're still broken, dude. That was such an amazing stream. 
such an amazing stream last night you know it's really awesome when the community comes together and just really showers um their love on a streamer um it happened to me last week monday and tuesday were absolutely phenomenal um and uh yeah yours was amazing so anyways y'all go check out bealzy on twitch there's a link to his i mean yeah a link to his uh profile over on trovo what's up man how are you doing welcome back so we checked our planes controls let's jump into the plane get it started up i'm pretty sure i'm full of fuel yes i am all right so let's turn on all our controls here uh part break on lights on full rich about a quarter throttle let's start it up yeah trovo is um it's a lot different than than uh than twitch i haven't quite figured trovo out yet um and i've spent some time over there but it's uh it, it's kind of hard to figure out what's what over there but it's pretty cool though i mean it's it's just different it, it's what what we get used to All right, part break off. Let's see here. I need to zoom in to figure out which runway I need to fly out of. Okay, so we'll fly it down. We will fly out of runway 31. Runway 31. We'll fly out of that one. Part break off. Yes, perfect timing. What's up, DC Viper? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Sieg, what's going on? Sees, Sees, what's going on? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Doing a really fast pushback. Sheesh. I, uh, there we go. That was super fast. How's Sees doing today? Good to see you. You got coffee? Life is good, dude. I got coffee too. Um, I just ordered some more this morning. I placed an order for two more bags of, uh, Brazilian light honey roast from my local coffee shop, I guess. Local coffee grinder. You're fine waiting for your four weeks vacation. Very cool. Dude, I wish I had four weeks. Well, I, yeah, I don't have four weeks vacation, but dang, that's pretty awesome course i can't complain i mean at my job we get almost three weeks off for christmas so i love what i do and we do get we do get personal days but i'm saving those because we can actually use those when we retire to help um actually retire a little bit earlier So we're going to fly out of runway 31. 31 is to our right. So we'll taxi on down to the to the right. Hey, what's up, Henry? How are you doing? You buy your beans locally and grind them yourself. Oh, dude, I love coffee, but I only drink it in the morning. I know a lot of people drink it throughout the day. I only do um, one cup of coffee in the morning, and that's it. Just because I don't want to cause myself any heart issues. Your neighbor's a high school teacher. He spent all this time... At his lake house right now. Oh man, that's nice. That's nice to have the summer off. Jack of I is here, and so I could do, I could do a nine month contract at my work, but then I only get paid nine months out of the year instead of twelve months out of the year, and um, financially I can't do that. So. I enjoy doing what I do, but I do teach 12 months out of the year. Well, I mean, I don't know that I'd be, yeah, I'd probably be crazy too. And a lot, a lot heavier than I am right now, to be honest. I'm going the wrong way. What? Scruffy, 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 scruffy. We're supposed to be flying out of runway 31. Here I am run, going to 13. Sorry about that, y'all. So we need to taxi down the other direction. 
because we'll have a tailwind flying out of taxiway taxiway one three uh, my apologies i need to wake up you're doing great it's really time oh you're taking it's really time taken to make a crj checklist very cool you drink it till the pot's done sometimes then you fire up the french pressure toss in an espresso or two dude wow 77 percenters keegs what's happening keegs how are you doing my friend good to see you uh let me give some shout outs to our streamer friends here um let's see here do, 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 do. i have shouted out well you know what i think i've shouted out everybody but keegs there we go if i forgot anybody um please let me know yeah if you didn't get a shout out I, I shouted a few people out earlier i apologize if i forgot you need to make an efb setup safe to check originating check it's yeah yeah so henrique i printed out a checklist for the 172 a long time ago and i've got it around here somewhere i've just got to find it and use it i'll get here just having a chill day nice good deal good deal glad to hear it someone in the icon what's up fly lilo how are you doing my friend so good to see you very good to see you fly lilo hope you're well all right come on come on just a little bit further and we'll be straight on the runway and then we'll uh we'll take off momentarily i do want to look and see who all's flying along with us once i uh, taxi up just a little bit more my apologies y'all for that mix up it is early so fly lilo is another um flight sim streamer friend of the community fly lilo is amazing uh fly lilo is a quadriplegic flying in microsoft flight simulator and streaming as well please go give fly lilo a follow he is doing amazing things for the um disabled community go check him out you drink far less coffee here than you did in Canada. You used to drink three or four pots a day. Wow. Wow. Let me give uh, Fly Lilo a quick shout out. Fly Lilo, we got to get you some clips, my friend. I gotta, I gotta jump over to your channel and get some clips. Oh, there's a clip. Good deal. Fly Woman Spain, welcome on back. How are you doing? Good to see you. See, so yeah, go follow Fly Lilo. Um, he is doing really amazing things over on his channel. Um, it's just, it's so inspiring. It really is. First of all, I'm Bucky Hun. Bucky Hun. Bucky, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Good to see you. Uh, so let me extend the invitation before we take off um, to those of y'all who would like to fly along today. Everyone is always welcome to fly on my channel. Um, there are no rules, just flight. That's my slogan. No rules, just flight. Uh, so fly what you want to and fly how you want to. We are on US East server and this is the airport we're at right now. And this does update automatically to the closest airport i'm doing really well bucky thank you thank you for the first time chat yeah we definitely need to do that viper yep for sure for sure um so let me show you the flight plan for today as well really quick there's a little nav map yeah so uh viper have you been banned so here's our flight plan we're starting out on this island uh right here in japan then we're gonna fly over to this bigger island make a little zigzag and we'll end up right here our final stop of the day uh and then saturday we're gonna leave japan and we'll fly these islands are actually are owned by russia if i'm not mistaken these are all russian islands so we'll leave japan and fly over to these russian uh islands All right, so if you would like to fly along, US East server, 
and this is the airport we're at right here You're not apparently asking them about the correct ATC phraseology for telling another pilot that you possess kernel knowledge of a parent was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let me jump back into the plane and we'll go ahead and take off. And even once we're up in the air, if you want to fly along, just jump on in at any time that you're ready. All right, 50, 55, and rotate up. And our journey has begun for today. So once I clear the runway, I'm going to um, do a right pattern out. Need to trim up a little bit. I think they were really upset about how I kept using them. Oh, dang. <laughs> dang. I do too. I do too. And what's funny about it um, is my grandson, my grandson loves poop jokes. And so m me and him, oh my gosh, me and him get in trouble with his mama for laughing about poop jokes. And my wife too. We get in trouble with, with his mama and my wife about laughing at poop jokes. But they are hilarious. All right, so I'm not flying. I know, right? No, she, she doesn't. She does not, Viper. She still thinks she can change me. It ain't happening. Um, so I'm not flying in live weather. Live weather right now is horrendous over here in Japan. Uh, they've got a, a really big, um, I don't know that it's a storm system, but a lot of a, a weather system that, that has a lot of rain, heavy rain and a lot of fog. So I I did create my own weather. I'm on, um, shoot, what, I am, what am I on? I'm on few clouds and 7.45 a.m. If you want to fly along uh, in the same same way that I am. And the reason I do that is because in real life, we would not have... Yes, yes. Um, and Bucky, it does take real time to get to places. And to begin with, when I the first time I saw a streamer stream this and they told me that, I was thinking, man, this would be the most boring thing ever to fly in real time to places. But what makes it so amazing is the beauty of, of how well everything looks. Uh, I absolutely love it. Thank you for the door lock. Troll Keegs, you, you actually got me on that one. The only thing that's changed is you learn, like most married men do, that women don't have the same sense of humor when it comes to... Yes, you, you got it. Oh, no, you spawned at the wrong airport. Oh, no, did I? Oh, okay. <laughs> you got it mixed up. You were thinking Joe. You were thinking coffee. So, yeah, Bucky, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, and Bucky, not only... Is it real time? But like, this is the weather that they're really having. So I can fly in real weather. So this is the live weather that's happening right now in Japan, in this part of the world. And then real time, this is what time it is over there. And now y'all can understand why I'm not streaming in uh, real time or real weather.
Yeah, there's a big storm front. Yeah, and that's why that's why I'm not flying real uh, real weather. Yeah, in real life it'd be 2020. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no right, sniff it. What's up, sniff it? Yeah, changing the uh, changing the weather in the time uh, does does affect the way the plane flies in between transitions. But how you doing, sniff it? And I, as I stall and go for a swim, yes. So sniff it plays as another uh, friend of the community, another flight simmer, and uh, actually lives in this area of the world, or close by. We're well, not close by, but in the general area of the world. <laughs> so let's see who's flying along there's uh fire sandy has loaded in there's fire sandy up ahead uh out oh there's bone loose down there and behind we have cappy stick jack of thy hyper i am firewalling again y'all uh hyperx north lodge has joined us today welcome on in north lodge Thank you for flying along. Cleared your flu, finished your screening call in the day, and you got an interview in 20-ish minutes. Nice. Interview for a job? With the technical team from the North American region. Oh, cool. New position, second round of interview. Very good. So I remember, uh, I think it was a couple streams ago, you said that you were going for an interview. So this is the second round of that interview. Congratulations. Nice, North Lodge in the F-18. Very cool. Well, I hope things go well for you, Sniffit. Hey, that's nice. That's nice when you got headhunters coming after you. Very cool. Either you're hot stuff or dirt cheap. I mean, seriously, I mean, that is true. One of the two, but I'm hoping that's your hot stuff. That's pretty awesome. Uh, that's one thing about me. I've never had a lack of, um, I've never had a really look for a job. I've, I've had a lot of job offers. So anytime that I wanted to change jobs, there was always an opening for me somewhere. Uh, and I'm very thankful for that. And I'm not saying that in a braggadocious way. Part of that, part of that is, you know, whenever you leave a job, some people want to burn bridges, but part of that is I've never burned bridges when I left the job. You haven't had an interview in like 30 years. It scares the crap out of you. I mean, it is, it is intimidating because when I got the job that I'm in now, um, when I was at dealership, there really was no interview. I mean, my reputation again, not being, not bragging, but everyone knew me. And I had a good reputation, so it was pretty much, hey, if you want to come to work for me, you let me know, and, and you got it. No interview. But when I went to work at the school, I interviewed with the um, second-in-command at the school, and that was intimidating. Oh, you're 53 and worked at the same company since you were 18? Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I'm 53 as well, but I've, I've had four jobs I think so I've had uh, let's see here besides high school because in high school I worked at a grocery store and then I worked at a, a, a gas filling station back then we actually put gas in your car for you Washed your windshield, checked the oil. It was called a full service uh, gas station. And there were a lot of those around back then. Um, in fact, it was unusual back then to have a self-service where you pump your own gas.
Your dad's 62 and worked for the same company since he was 16. Man, that is so awesome. That's really incredible. Saturday job when you were at university and never left? Really? So, wow. That's incredible. Excuse me. Hire a bunch of retired AT&T people. How much was the controller and the controls? All right, so Bucky, the um, the yoke and the throttle. This is the Honeycomb Alpha and Bravo. Um, right at four hundred dollars, or was it five hundred? It's right at five hundred dollars for this and this. And then I do have uh, pedals too, rudder pedals, and they're about 150. I really lucked out though. I got these on sale and they rarely ever go on sale, but X-Plane, the X-Plane store had them on sale. So I got them there. I need to climb. Man, am I invisible to you again, Cappy Stick? Hyperx, uh, who, who all can see me? Can uh, Hyperx, can you see me? Oh yeah, yeah, Animal Doc, no doubt. It is definitely an investment. How are you doing, Animal Doc? Good to see you. Animal Doc is another flight sim streamer friend of the community here uh animal dot does flight sim and phasmophobia um so he'll scare the crap out of you in a plane there's a shout out for a good friend animal dog animal dog's a great guy you see my tag but not my plane that is maddening Uh, but let me say this, uh, Bucky, you can, you can start out detective Coles. What's up? Give me just a minute. Uh, you can actually start out Bucky just with an Xbox controller. That's how I started out just flying using an Xbox controller. And then as I could afford it, I started adding the other, the other peripherals that you see. Hey, hello 420. What's going on, dude? It has been a while. Yes, it has been. How are you doing? Yeah, North Lodge. Here we go. North Lodge uses an Xbox controller. So my socks of the day. <laughs> my socks of the day. On the right foot, I've got SpongeBob. On the left foot, palm trees. Because we are flying in the islands and, and around the sea. So SpongeBob lives in a pineapple under the sea. And I'm sure there's some palm trees on these islands. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you for that. Uh, so Bucky, it all depends on which version. There's three different versions of the sim that you can get. Uh, but yeah, about 60 bucks is how much it is. But let me tell you, it is well worth every penny. Yes. And like sniff it and Viper said, if you have Xbox game pass, you can actually, uh, play it for free. But I mean, look how beautiful it is. And I know C-172 is the um, Cessna 172, and that's what I'm flying today is the C-172. Swan, how are you doing? Good to see you. E-Pro Enthusiast um, is Swan, a long, long time friend, member of the community here. How are you doing, Swan? Good to see you. And so, um, Bucky, all the gauges work properly in the planes, the avionics, the GPS and everything, it all works. Uh, it, it's really incredible how good a job they've done with this. Oh, Airlock Dog, thank you for the lurk. Yes, you can get it on PC. I've got it on PC. Yeah, 
yes and just like viper said um pc is the best best experience swan i'm doing really really well thank you doing really good we're uh, going on vacation next week, so no streams next week, y'all. We're going to uh, Wilderness at the Smokies in Tennessee, taking the grandkids up there. It's like an indoor-outdoor water park resort type thing. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah, doing really well. Thank you. Yes, it'd be a nice little getaway. So we are just kind of chilling out here in Japan, flying along. If anyone else would like to jump in and fly, feel free to. We currently have, we currently have Bone Loose, Fire Sandy, Duracell, North Lodge, Jack of I, Cappy Stick was here. There he is. There's Cappy Stick up there. All flying along with us. So Swan, have y'all been camping since the last trip that you went on when you had the really bad weather? Oh, next week, okay, well, next week your husband has surgery to remove his gallbladder. Um, is it going to be laparoscopic? Yeah, uh, Bucky, Microsoft Light Sim isn't for everybody. Uh, but if you... If you really are curious or you have a, a love for flying, uh, you're going to be in love with it and probably be, be addicted to it like I was. I mean, like the very first time I flew in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I was addicted and, and I haven't looked back. It's really awesome. Laparoscopic. Okay, well, that's good. Good. I'm glad it's going to be laparoscopic because that, that'll be less intrusive and uh, a much quicker healing time as well. Hey, Commander John Pookie, how are you? Working on getting OBS set up for streaming and this is good background noise. Oh, yeah, yeah. OBS, dude, is, is where it's at. Twitch Studio, um, yeah. Yeah, OBS is much, uh, much better in my opinion. But thank you. Uh, thank you for being here. Let me give Commander John Pookie a shout out. Uh, he is another flight sim streamer. Next camping trip for late July. That's going to be a hot one. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so I started, I did some research before I started streaming. Um, both with, you know, talking to other streamers and um, just kind of doing some research and decided that OBS Studio was where I wanted to start. And that's where I am still. OBS Studio is really, really good. <laughs> John, I don't think, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it happens. It happened to me. My engines and the goose died within eyesight of the runway. Kid Knives! What is up, Kid Knives? How are you doing? So good to see you. I've been seeing you streaming a lot lately. <laughs> yes, Juan. They're either gonna be it's it's gonna be super hot for you, but I hope I hope the weather's good for you. So Kid Knives, my socks of the day on the right foot I've got SpongeBob. SpongeBob socks on the right because we're flying in Japan, which is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and SpongeBob lives in a pineapple under the sea. So SpongeBob on the right and palm trees on the left. SpongeBob palm trees. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you for that.
that was part of your unintentional 12 hour 25 minute stream <laughs> Started playing Microsoft Flight Sim with version 2 back in 84. Wow. Wow, that's amazing, Animal Doc. And I just started flight simming in uh, August of last year. I started streaming it in September, but I actually got it in August of last year. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been seeing you stream a lot. Not self-promo, but it's you. Oh, that's right. That's right, Kid Knives. I forgot about that. Um, So Kid Knives is a streamer as well. Uh, they stream on Twitch, and yes, I have seen where Kid Knives has been streaming a lot this month. There's a shout out for shout out for Kid Knives. Yes, and an awesome community as well. Yep, you got it. The uh, the flight sim community is amazing. And um, Kid Knives is another longtime member of the community here. <laughs> You're welcome, Kid Knives. Canada Swimmer, thank you for the follow. It's been really good to see you too, Kid Knives. Um, I'm glad you're doing well. How's Noonday Demon? How's Noonday doing? Oh, you're one of their beta testers, Sniffit? What? You'll probably upgrade your PC with a new motherboard and processor from i9 to... Oh, dude, that's awesome. I just noticed I'm climbing. I don't know. It could just be the wind, but I'm going to try to level out a little bit now. Oh, am I warping around? Um, I think they call that rubber banding. Am I, um, am I rubber banding? Of course I remember Noonday. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Very good, Kid Knives. That's awesome. Really? Uh, is anyone else? Oh, you know what? I am. Am I dropping? I'm not dropping any frames. I'm at 60 frames per second. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely choppy, isn't it? Oh, you're flying mostly in VR and it says it's limited by your old processor. It's a bit laggy. So what um what processor do you run right now, Seize? Oh, so after you re Detective Coles, of course I remember you. Of course I remember you, Detective Coles. What? I forgot to shout out Detective Coles though. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you for dropping the base, Kid Knives. Oh, you have an i9-9900? Well, that's what I'm running too, I think. I've seen some other people, some other flight simmer streams where their um, where their sim is choppy. Although what's weird is it's not really choppy for me in the sim, but the the feed is choppy. But I'm not dropping frames. I'm at 60 frames a second. Hmm. Oh. 
Now it's you who doesn't remember Scruffy. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I totally misunderstood that. Why don't you remember me? And I'm invisible to some. That totally sucks. And I don't, I really don't want to start the, uh, I really don't want to restart the sim. Oh, thank you, Detective Coles. I'm like, wait a minute. How, how can you not remember me? I mean, not that I'm, not that I'm all that, but I am kind of unique to a lot of people. And I wondered, how could you not? I didn't mean that egotistical. I know, right? I didn't mean that in that way. I know that 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 sounded rough. That sounded bad. Just land at the next airport. Nobody forgets the Lord is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that to sound like it did, but. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, real life does bite. Real life has a way of getting in the way. Um of things and, and that's what's that's I, i'm kind of concerned about my fall work schedule because or my, i'm gonna have to change my streaming schedule like on it i'm gonna have to flip it on its head once our fall school semester starts and i'm really worried about that stream wise My hot sub stream yesterday means you can't forget me. Thank you. Thank you. Sniff it, Lurkin. Sniff it. Good luck with the uh, interview. I hope things go really well for you. I hope today is job offer day. Well, I started today out, Matt, with a hot sub stream. I forgot that I had put that background up and I started today out with it on. There's Bone Loose and Cappy Stick doing a little formation fly in there. Oh, you flew gliders yesterday. That's cool. Um, you know, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll try gliders. I've had several people ask me about them. Um, but, um, for now, I'm just really enjoying flying general aviation. I really enjoy just flying the Cessna or in the smaller single or dual prop planes. But maybe one day, maybe one day. But everybody likes, you know, everybody likes different things. And this is, this is me, what I like. Still in development, you reckon thermals are not simulated yet? Yeah, I don't think they are. I, I do, I'm pretty sure I remember they said they were working on, yeah, okay, thank you Viper for confirming that. Because I thought I remembered seeing where they are in development. Targeting, yeah, you know, I'm afraid they're going to put a lot of, um, they, there are, there are a lot of changes coming for November. I hope it's not going to be a lot of bugs as well, uh, but it is what it is. Still, you can't beat how beautiful this sim is. 
Oh, uh, Kidknives, thank you so much. I will. Oh, uh, Kidknives, I don't know if you've seen it. Tam is uh, prego again with our third grandchild. Um, and the baby should be coming September 30th, if I'm not mistaken. Are you looking forward to the beaver? Yeah. You do remember seeing that. Okay, cool. I, I wasn't sure if you saw that or not. So this island looks like it's a, comprised of a lot of volcanoes. Um, I'm really surprised just looking at little nav map at the, uh, the topography. So um, there's looks like one right here. There, this appears to be one here. This is definitely one here. This looks like it's a caldera. Uh, this looks like it's a caldera. This also looks like a caldera. So this island, and, and here's another uh, volcano. So, I mean, I know a lot of the islands in the Pacific are volcanic islands, but it just amazes me the number of volcanoes that you can visually see just looking at the topography. Yeah, glad I'm not breaking the sound barrier. I, I was earlier, Animal Doc, and then I realized I was firewalling again, so I decided to slow down some. I do like speed and so sometimes I just I find myself going faster than I should or that I would in real life Hello. thank you kid thank you for the lurk If you're not first, you're last. Exactly, exactly. Hey, Sandy, incoming fire is in the air. How are you doing, Fire Sandy? Good to see you. I would enjoy gyrocopters. You're limited to a thousand feet AGL. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm sure I would. I'm sure I would enjoy that. Oh, wait, gyrocopter, is that? So there's some guy on TikTok that he's got a big fan blade like attached to his back. It's like a backpack that he puts on and he flies around. Is that what? Um, is that what you're talking about? Is that what a gyrocopter is? Or is a gyrocopter like an enclosure that you sit in and it looks like a helicopter, but it's smaller? So if you fly low, you must be fast just in case the engine fails. Oh, yes. Ever since he got with the Thunderbirds, he's been quoting Top Gun and saying stuff like, got to pin it to win it. Talk to me, Goose. Help, help. I'm on fire. Sweet baby Jesus, I'm on fire. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. Open canopy, but an airplane, not a contraption attached to your body. Okay. No, seriously though, there's this thing and it looks, it looks really cool. It's like a backpack this guy puts on. And, um, I mean like literally him and some buddies will strap these things on and go flying across, you know, wherever their country or wherever they're going and then land and camp. And then get back up the next day and continue flying. Like literally he had his tent in his lap as he's flying along with his feet dangling. Your feet dangle with this. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, that's right. It was the parasail. Thank you for that. Thank you for dropping the base and thank you for the flush. Yes. 
That's right. It was parasailing. Power parasailing. Exactly. For some reason... Oh, Lord. Never mind. It's too early. For some reason, I was thinking he didn't have a parasail. Like there was no parachute. But there is a parachute. That's right. Can you imagine some guy not having a parachute just flying around with a fan strapped to his back? I am so sorry. It's too early to be thinking these things. There's a lot of that in Switzerland? Oh, cool. Do I ever fly two engine planes? Oh, yes, Henrik, I have flown two engine planes. Uh, so I've got the um, Cessna 414 by Fly Simware, and then I've also got the Cessna 310 by Milviz. I have flown both of those. I've flown the Goose before. I've flown the B247D, and I think that's it. The twin Cessna, yeah, it really is. The, the 310 is, is super nice. And the, the you know, the, 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 the 310-414 debate is almost like the sim versus game debate. Um, you've got your people that are like, no, the 310 is the best. And then other people, no, the 414 is the best. Um, I've flown them both. I think they're both amazing. Dippo, what's happening? How are you doing? Coffee, breakfast, taco, and a 50-50 blend of scruff and ham. Heck yes. Yeah, they're both excellent planes. They really are. So, uh, Dippo is another streamer friend. Let me give Dippo a shout out. Thank you for uh, making me part of your morning routine, Dippo. How are we doing here? We need... 80 in. We've got 81 here. 81 here. Do we have some in the box? 54 in the box. <laughs> Deep cut. Is that like an old school clip? Months ago. Oh, Factorio run from last year. Wow. Um, See, so yeah, I ended up having, I ended up, I wish I would have saved them, but I ended up deleting a lot of my older clips. Uh, because it seemed like anytime I was on someone else's channel, when I was trying to, um, create the brand of Scruffy and Flight Sim, it seems like any time I was on someone else's channel, it was, you know, showing like an Animal Crossing clip or something that I used to stream. And so I really wanted to, you know, get my name out there as Scruffy Tam, you know, when, when people think Scruffy Tam, they think of Flight Sim. And so I ended up uh, removing a lot of those old clips just so people could associate me with flight simulation. Oh, wow. Has anyone ever bought that? No, no, no one has. Um, and really, the only reason... The only reason why no one has used those yet, Henrik, is because I usually do it to myself. Like, I usually just run out of fuel, and so people don't have to use it. But no, I mean, they're there for people to use, but no one's used them yet because I usually just make myself fall out of the sky. Nice! Heck yes! All right, so what, I, I I forgot what that even is. So I got to go, oh yeah, that's right. I got to lean it out until the engine starts running bad, right? I literally asked for this. I really did. Okay. So let me, um, so that I can hear that the engine's running bad. I'm going to go to external view really quick.
All right, I definitely heard of of, of, of audible change. Okay. So that's definitely lean to the point where it is affecting the engine. And now Nervous? five minutes. Yes. First time. I'll go back into the plane. No, I've been nervous lots of times. It's okay. I've got this. I've got this. Um, I'm going to fly around this mountain, though, because I'm not going to have much power to go around it. This is fun. This is the first time. This is the first time I've, that anyone's redeemed these. So thank you for that. And for now, I'm going to leave the music off just so we can hear it. I hate that I've got the uh, <laughs> airlock dog. <laughs> I hate that I've got the headphones on in the in the plane. So I think I'm going to. Oops, I didn't. Oh well, I just reset my timer. No, I didn't. Good. Okay. I think I'm going to fly outside just so we can hear it. <laughs> Detective Coles, thank you for the Mario death. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool, Lee Kilo Mike. Is that a real thing? You know what? I think it is. Doesn't, um... Wow, that's loud. Sorry about that. I think Shoney had that, didn't he? Or somebody. Who's got... One of the bigger streamers has that. Fabio. Okay, Fabio used to use it. Thank you. I knew someone used to have it. Oh, that's right. Fabio had it. No, no, no. That's okay, Henry. I've got the, I'm the one that turned the sound up. No worries at all. Oh, uh, th that's right. I do remember seeing that on Fabio's now. And that was a good way, for, yeah, to get bits. Thankfully, we're kind of in somewhat of a valley. Viper, thank you for the 200 bits. But no, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Thank you for the 200 bits, but I was not... Um, that was not a hint. So I do want to fly to this volcano up here. Okay, thank you, Viper. That's one of the reasons I'm hesitant to do stuff um, like like that for bits is because I don't want people to feel like um, when they're on my channel that that I'm that I'm asking for anything other than you just your, your time I mean I love people to be here and to fly along and that's really all I ask for anything other than that is just extra and I really and I, and I do appreciate the sport I seriously do appreciate the sport Oh man, we are getting so close to the ground. A minute and 30 left. Am I going to make it? I, like, I'm at wide open throttle right now. Hey, Skipper, how are you doing? This is the uh, Cessna 172. Uh, it's one of the default planes in the deluxe version. Oh, this is so... <laughs> Two-tone had it on one stream, but it was... Controlled by Gibbo, suddenly he had no rudder, no landing. Oh man, really? I've got to try that. Should at least insist on a tall ship to start to steer. <laughs> oh man, we're so close. Oh my gosh. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. So if I if I pull up, 
then I'm going to end up stalling. So this is a really, I know, right? This is a really, really, it's going to be tight because we got 25 seconds left and I am so close to stalling. But I think I can pull it off. I think, yeah, I do. I need to get the cockpit, don't I? I think I can pull this off. 10, well, 10 seconds. I can pull it off. No, I'm totally going to be able to pull it off. Two, one. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Oh, does it say I need to do it until landing or crash? Does it say that? If it does, I'll redo it. I thought it was just five minutes. Nervous? Yes. Let me look it up really quick. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. Oh, reward lasts until a crash or the next airport. My bad. My bad. It totally says that. All right, it's back to running bad again. So sorry. So sorry. It does say until a crash or the next airport. Um, so I'm just going to have to find a field. No, no, no. That's fine, Henrique. I love it. I love it. So I'm not seeing an airport. Yeah, I'm not seeing an airport. So we're going to have to go for a field. And then once we take back off, um, we'll fly over to the, uh, over to that volcano over there. I'm going to try to make it to this next clearing actually. Oh, thank you, Duracell. Can I land in the volcano? Yeah, you, you probably could if there's enough room. Uh, if I was in the kit box, I would feel much more... Um, bush landing is not a crash. This is true. This is true. And thankfully, I don't have crashes turned on, so the plane will just, uh, like, flip or whatever it does. I need to go back to having crashes on, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to keep it floating as long as it will. And then I'll just stall out and crash. That's that, that'll actually be pretty fun. Hey, Fire Sandy. I don't think I don't want to crash into a farmhouse. Or whatever that is. That's why the Sting S4 is so good. If you crash at the prop brakes and other things. All right, very close to stall speed now. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep from landing. I'm actually wanting to stall out. But I think I'm just going to end up... Uh, here we go. Well, what? <laughs> Let's just go four-wheeling. Race this truck. Whoa, 
What? I'm back in the air. How about that crap? That's what I was looking for. There we go. All right. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for redeeming that. I think I am going to change it. <laughs> yeah, three wheeling. That's right. That's true. I think I am going to change that to five minutes, though, because that was pretty fun. Five minutes is more of a challenge than that was. I mean, it's not real. It's honestly, it's not real challenging um, to have the plane just stall like that because it doesn't take a lot of skill to just, you know, crash a plane. But it does take some skill to uh, keep it from crashing in a, in a time period. So I think we'll do that. Well, I mean, yeah, you're right. I, I shouldn't have slewed. But I had to slew to flip the plane up, right? But yeah, I, I should have I should have taken off. I'm sorry. Oh, Jack of Eyes, someone does have... Someone does have that. Uh, if, if you didn't know, I didn't know if you knew or not. Slew in the air is banned from the stream. I am I'm totally for that, uh, Airlot Doc. Sorry. Seriously, I I don't like slewing. I mean, I I don't mind it if you're flying along with me to catch up, but honestly, I really don't like slewing. I've got an airport cart, uh Wombi. Want to be made in an airport cart that I've got. All right, we made it to the volcano. Thanks to uh, Slu. Good old Slu. Oh, oh, I'm going to show y'all something wild. I don't know. Have y'all seen the cheesecake? Pacific Salute is the call sign of your last ship. Was it really? I know the cheesecake is amazing. I've got the cheesecake. Uh, Frozen, who's a member of the Shadow Display team, actually created a cheesecake, a flying cheesecake. And I understand that the cheesecake um, is, its flight dynamics are very accurate. Oh, that would be cool too. Hey, Nathan, what's happening? Oh, cool. You're starting F1 again. Nice, nice, nice. So, uh, TMH Nathan, another good friend of the community here. Uh, as you can see, he he does fly, uh, does fly, does drive F1, but he also d is uh, does Microsoft Flight Sim as no, well. Honestly, and Jazz, I love having you two around in my conversations. It's so funny. Oh, so that's all you're going to be doing now. Cool. It would be neat to have Snoopy fly in his doghouse against the Red Barons. I mean, I'd be I'd be good with that. But one Friday, I am going to be reviewing and flying the cheesecake. That'll be one of my uh, Scruffy After Dark Friday streams. Ah, uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is, Skipper. Um, go to flightsim.to. In fact, just type in livery. Just type the word livery um, without an exclamation by itself in chat and it'll give you a link for it. All 
I'm not trying to crash. Dang it. There we go. <laughs> How's that for landing in the volcano? <laughs> I guess I technically landed in it, right? You're welcome, Skipper Jeff. Well, oh, Henrik asked me about landing in the volcano, so technically I landed in the volcano, right? Okay. Oh no, I did. I did see how slow I killed. I killed my power so that I could uh, so that I could drop down in there. So I mean, it was totally on purpose. All right. Sorry, y'all. I normally don't play around like that. I, I usually fly in uh, as real as possible, but that was uh, light like butter, very lumpy but lumpy butter. Oh no, I um no, I did. I missed that. I totally missed it, Skipper. Um, post it again, please. No slew. No, I'm not gonna slew. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna taxi over here. And I'll actually try to take off. Um, oh, come on. I didn't realize I was going uphill. What's up, Jelly? How are you doing? Butter's so soft, it's practically whipped cream. <laughs> So what I'm wanting to do is taxi this way. This is uphill. And then, ah, dang it. Yeah, Duracell, I agree. It's probably not possible, but I'm I'm just hard-headed enough to, to give it a try. Hey, Swan, so I, I crashed into... I crashed into the airport. I mean, into the airport. I crashed into a volcano, and now I'm trying to um, trying to fly back out of it. But it's it's a little bit of a challenge for me. Oh, that would be cool, Cappy Steak. That'd be absolutely hilarious. Yeah, I don't know that this is going to happen. Ah. Okay, sorry about that. It's not going to happen. <laughs> not not going to happen. If I was in the kit, Fox, it would. As a streamer, I have something for you. A complimentary pre-release. What? Skipper Jeff, are you the developer of that? Dude, I would love to have a, to have a copy of that. Wow. That's an absolute honor to uh, to have a copy of it. Yes, I would love it. Uh, that's that's I, I'm really anticipating its release. Right? Yeah, Skipper Jeff. It's like a hotel in California. You can check in, but you can't check out. Yep. Welcome to the volcano, California. All right. Enough of that. I typically don't do those those type of uh, antics on my stream, but uh, it's been a while since I've just been silly. I used to do a bunch of silly stuff like that, and it's been a while, so it was fun. Thank y'all for humoring me as I screwed around with the volcano. Um, but yeah, Skipper Jeff, how can I how can I get that? And thank you so very much. I am I am honored.
Oh, man. <laughs> Jeff. Skipper Jeff, thank you so very much. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I'm sure you're in a lot of discords. If you want to deliver it to me via discord, that's cool. Or you can whisper it to me here. I really appreciate that. Henry, nice to see my volcano landing, if you can call it that. You got to go now? No problem. Thank you so much for being here. Henry, take care of yourself. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Be safe in all your endeavors. Yes. Oh, Cappy Stick, I definitely will. Although it, it's going to be a couple weeks because um, this coming Friday, I've already I've, I've already posted that I'm doing the England tour. The next Friday, I'm going to be on vacation, so it'll have to be the following Friday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Skipper Jeff, by all means, no problem at all. And so what I'll do is um, two Fridays from this Friday, we will definitely go in and look at all the all the stuff. I know that um, uh, Forder, Forder learned to fly Howard. I was all I could think of was Howard. Forder learned to fly. Um, reviewed it and and did a stream on it. So I'm really excited about it. Get your blimp, man. I'm telling you, it's definitely low and slow, right? And thank you so much, Skipper Jeff. I really do appreciate that. So now, if you're in stream and you'd like to fly along with me, um, there are no requirements for you to fly. You don't have to follow. You don't have to sub or donate or anything. Um, I'm a lover of flight and flying, and I'm sure you are too. So if you'd like to fly along, uh, feel free to jump on in, fly along with us. Closest airport is showing in the upper right-hand corner, and the um, server is U.S. East. You already knew the 172. You'd just be looking at how it feels from your perspective and experience. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, Cappy Stick for sure. Oh, you're gonna be demoing it on Forder Stream. nice um cool i i do work um tonight but if if wow as much as i can i will be there for it that's awesome animal doc you got to be going have a lovely day take care animal doc thank you so much for being here i appreciate you and uh i look forward to seeing one of your streams again soon so it looks like there's a valley right here that that will stay a valley and will take us into the next airport. So I'm going to head over this way and try to fly down into the valley a little bit. Oh yeah, Skipper, I will definitely do that. Uh, it's based on the steam. It's based on the steam gauges version. So you have to have the deluxe version of um, Microsoft Flight Sim. Best I can tell. Oh, I'm so excited. Dang, you just, you made my day, Skipper Jeff. So many people are anticipating that, and I am too, since that's the plane I fly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, John Pookie, it's not it's not too hard to set those up. See, me and the wife are taking our grandkids on vacation next week. Uh, oh, you know what, Airlot Doc? That's a good question because I do have floats. 
I do have a float version, but I'm not sure if it's steam gauges or not. I'll have to look into that. Hey, what's up, fat old guy? How are you doing? I'll tell you what I'll do. At the next airport, uh, remind me, Airlot Doc, and I'll exit out at the next airport and look and see because at an airport, it's easy to, to start right back at. You doing well? Good deal. Good to see you again, fat old guy. So fat old guy, <laughs> I feel so bad saying that too. Hey, you fat old guy. Welcome in. <laughs> Good to see you because I am one. I are a fat old guy as well. Uh, but welcome in. Good to see you. I'm glad you're doing well. <laughs> it just seems so oh man i don't know people come in like dang scruffy's rude calling someone a fat old guy oh yeah and sacred hardy yeah i'm in luck oh so it does All come right, with the guys, ski version like too said, okay cool so i didn't know um keen awareness was the first one that popped so that is you gotta head out and pick up the wife just check off stream and let me know next time we talk okay thank you Airlot doc i will He was over under and he was done. Roger, Captain Roger, what? Fire Sandy, what are you saying? Yeah, take care, Airlot Doc. Be safe out there. Okay, I am going to have to climb. Dang it. But after this, it's going to be all downhill to the next uh, to the next airport. But at least it, it seems to be climbing this. Uh, well, okay. I didn't realize I'm close to stall speed. So what I'm going to do here... I'm going to try to turn. No, not another wing over. Dang it. Man, y'all have not seen this many crashes on my stream ever. I think we're gonna crash. This goes through. What's happening? How are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, also, Scruffy, you figure out how to auto host people on your channel when you're offline. Oh, thank you so much, John Pookie. Dude, I appreciate that. I need to go through my auto host list and, and revamp it because a lot of those people um, I haven't seen on my channel in forever. Yeah, way too low and way too slow. Yep. I'm having a heck of a day. Yes, I am. This is why altitude minimums exist. Yes, it is. It is why there are altitude minimums. And uh, I don't necessarily follow those. Oh, man. Good to see you, Disco Stu. I hope you're doing well. Disco Stu. There's no telling what my pitch is at right now because usually whenever you crash out like that, it just screws your pitch all up. So I'm just, I'm going to try to adjust it without looking down at the pitch wheel. I did. Yeah, I kept you thinking exactly that. That was a very poor decision on my part. But it appeared to be climbing so well that I thought I'd make it. But yeah.
oh i did um i talked to my cfi my certified flight instructor that i had talked to several months ago about taking flight lessons i never really explained to him why i decided to postpone you know getting my ppl but i was able to talk to him for a few minutes on sunday and i explained to him that you know i had looked and and kind of added up the cost of flying at least once a week if not more and that i just you know couldn't do it at the time so he said he totally understood um and he he was really encouraging i was super glad he said you know um his dad waited until he was 60 before he started getting his uh going on his ppl journey so i felt pretty good about it then so i'm not waiting too late to do it Oh, I am. I've trimmed too low, I think is what it is. Thank you. A donation incentive for that? Oh, Frankie. I like that idea, but um, I just don't want to... And I, I really do. I appreciate... I, I really do appreciate... Um, the uh, uh oh wait a minute power lines i appreciate those ideas um and i appreciate the community's willingness to give but i don't want to be i don't want to be seen crap 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 i don't want to be seen as like begging begging for money i have an icity i have I have an in city. Thank you so much for that raid. I'm sorry I was struggling with your name. Welcome on in, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome in, Raiders. I have an in city. How are you today? And Raiders, what was going on with your channel today? What were y'all doing? I'm assuming that you were a flight simmer. welcome on in where were you flying what were you flying how were you flying i hope your flight was better than mine has been so far today uncle boris thank you for jumping in and flying along oh there's a damn it my nine. Oh shoot did i miss it how are you doing ivan really really good to have you with us today thank you so much for that raid um and for those of y'all that came in Oh, um, Skipper, I am not sure. Hang on just a second. Um, oh, that's your husband. Well, thank you so much for bringing him in on that raid. Um, hang on. There's a dam. <laughs> okay. Over the hill. I'm going to try to make it to there really quick. Thank you so much for that raid. Uh, Skipper. So Ewald, I don't know if you, if you've ever seen Ewald in any of the other streamers channels but ewald is uh who created my liveries for me i have no idea what that is uh but if you know ewald ask him and, and uh he'll be able to tell you but i have no idea i'm sorry ewald creates a lot of liveries for a lot of streamers um he did shoney gamings he does mine uh two cats he does two cats um liveries oh wow this is awesome thank you cappy stick for telling me about this so you were playing microsoft flight simulator very cool oh man this is beautiful oh, look there's a bridge i bet that's a beautiful road to travel right there running parallel to the to the lake See, I keep thinking I'm in the kit box is what my problem is. That's really beautiful. Oh, no, 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 There we go. That was close. Really close. Oh, this is cool. Thank you for pointing that out to me, Capstick. 
Son, you are not in the Kit Fox I know. The Kit Fox spoils me so much. First of all, I'm, I'm, Damn, look at that. That is that is cool. I wish they I wish it was rendered out a little bit better than it is, but still that's pretty cool. Thank you, Captain Thick again. All right, so I'm just going to follow this river on into uh, the next town, the next airport. Thank you so much for that follow, Ivan. I appreciate that. And thank you for the raid also. Um, you are welcome. You're welcome to uh, Detective Coles. Oh, you're welcome to fly along with us. Anybody else? Uh, so there's Uncle Boris flying along with us. Fire Sandy, the mountain that you're going to take the monkey on landing gear, right? The monkey's going to jump to my landing gear. First of all, I'm Uncle down. Boris, thank you so much for the follow. What the scallop? Goofy goober. Uncle Boris, thank you for the follow and uh, thank you for flying along also. Again, there's no requirement to fly along with me. I just love flight and flying and I know that most of the community does as well so um if you want to fly jump in and fly along we're on us server east and the closest airport will uh, almost always be showing in the upper right hand corner and this is kind of what my channel is we do uh group flights vfr flights it's a lot of fun what's up batman how are you doing oh the xbox gang awesome You did something like this on a Kodiak. It was scary enough. Yeah, the Kodiak's pretty cool. I, I do have it, and I should probably fly it more than I do, but I just love this plane. Batman, how are you doing? You're installing Microsoft Flight Sim. Cool. Did you have to do a reinstall? Oh, uh, Uncle cool. Boris, are you a streamer? Too low. Gear. Oh, what's your pride and gear? Uh, what's your pride and joy, Uncle Boris? Dang, that sounds like me. You're welcome for the shout out. Oh, your hard disk drive died last night. Ugh. Mm. Wow. Nice. So I rarely, well, I've only flown an airliner one time. A jetliner, I should say. Um, and I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, but this is normally what I do is general aviation. I love general aviation planes flying low and slow and enjoying the scenery. But I flew the uh, PMDG 737 a few streams ago, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, like I said, more than I thought I would. Oh, luckily you had an extra HDD. That's a good thing. I'm glad you did complete freedom what's happening my friend how are you doing you can fly the diamond but you can keep up with anybody because you said too quick yeah oh that's what you're flying now is the diamond didn't it yep so complete freedom is another um throttle too low stall throttle max over speed at 160 I'm doing really well. So Complete Freedom is another flight sim streamer, a pilot in real life. And uh, one of the one of the four, I think it is now, people that I have met in person in real life as well. Uh, let me give Complete Freedom a shout out. Great guy. Oh, Fire Sandy. Yeah, I see Fire Sandy up there. Fire Sandy flying along. Uncle Boris flying along. Cappy Stick is here. We also have Duracell and Disco uh, Stu, uh, Smiley Bo, all flying along with us today. I'm having to turn into the wind. Flash break. Oh, do you have a data cap? No barrel rolls, right?
All right, so we're going to follow the river. Uh, this river runs really close to the airport, so we'll just follow it right in. Uh, this airport is going to be a full stop. I'll do a full stop landing here. I do need to take a quick pee break and refill my water. And then we'll continue our trek over Japan. Do a barrel roll. I'm a little bit low to do a barrel roll, Batman. Uh, not right now. I've crashed enough today. Uh, you missed it, man. I've crashed so many times today. <laughs> Sorry about that, Batman. Sorry about that. So I did a, uh, I had someone redeem the um, lean and mean redemption. I did it and then I crashed, which which you're supposed to. I'm supposed to either crash or land at an airport. So I crashed out and then I flew to the top of a volcano where I slewed to the top of a volcano and then I crashed into the volcano and then I tried to take off out of the volcano and I crashed. And then I tried to climb a mountain and I crashed. So today has been, I have not crashed this many times in a long time. Fire Sandy's up ahead. I'm looking for the airport. Wait a minute, what just happened? Oh, I see what happened, okay. So I'm gonna land at this airport, but then the next airport, um, 90 gigabytes left to download. Hey, Resurrect, how's it going? Good to see you this morning. I hope you're doing well. Sorry, um, I was trying to figure out why the little NAM map was showing two airports right here, but there are actually two airports right here. There we go. There's a couple shout outs there. Good deal, Resurrect. So Resurrect is another streamer friend of the community. And Flywoman Spain is oh, another, yes. a, a oh, new no, streamer no. friend. Uh, her husband actually just raided us. Yeah, I actually, what I need to do is jump in some of y'all streams and just start clipping like crazy to get some new clips all right the airport should be close looks like it's right on the edge of the city so it should be right in this area Right over here. Oh yeah, I was there when, when Okendu raided you. You promptly forgot your gear. <laughs> oh no, you forgot to put your gear down? That's hilarious. Uh, Boeing 787-10, wow. Oh, don't worry, Dippo. I did that myself. Um, just, just not too long ago, it was a plane that I wasn't familiar with flying, and I forgot to put the gear down. And I was thinking, man, this thing stopped on a dime. And then I realized it was because the gear wasn't down. Yeah, Duracell's at the airport. I saw Cappy Stick say we need um, Energizer here and then would have uh, Duracell and Energizer doing a little formation flying together. Deep Dish Dave, what's happening, my friend? How are you doing? Two days in a row checking and making dough again. Dude, that's awesome. How was yesterday? Did y'all have a good day yesterday? 
stream is going well very well today um i did crash a few times but we're uh we've recovered you going around the world with a 787 doing vfr in all the countries that's pretty cool how how long is it going to take you to go around the world um fly woman Do you know about how long it'll take? All right, so this will be our first full stop landing today. Uh, I'm going to take a quick restroom break and then uh, refill my water and then we'll continue on. There's going to be another airport that's only 25 miles away that we'll do a touch and go at. And then we'll continue on to the final airport. I think it is. No, I think there's one more. Nope. Day was good yesterday kind of busy but rainy so your walk-in cooler was like oh no batman thank you for the door knock troll so my next stream after today is going to be friday and friday we'll be flying in england um i'll be flying the um just flight piper arrow three in england we'll do a england tour and then we'll be flying in here again doing the connections tour saturday morning and then i'm taking a week off we got a vacation coming up so after after saturday i'll take a week off then we'll start right back Oh, you'll have to miss that when you'll be escorting moving truck to your new digs. Oh, yeah, no problem, Dippo. I have not flown that plane before, so it'll be a new plane for me. Uh, Fridays, I try something new, typically. So Friday will be a new plane and uh, should be beautiful scenery. I've added a bunch of free scenery for the England tour. All the cities we'll be flying in will have... Um, scenery that i've added the airports all but one airport has scenery that i've added so if you're interested in that flight plan and the scenery dom how are you doing dom try and fly without any of my instruments oh i could i could totally do that i mean i typically don't look at the instruments much anyways although i should how are you doing dom dom the developer is another um old not old um, another uh, member of the community who's been around for a long time. How are you doing, Dom? Pro tip, it's not on the checklist, but definitely make sure you open the compartment door before you run up. <laughs> doing pretty good. Eating some donuts and... Oh, nice. Drinking some coffee. Heck yeah. So I said that when I started took, taking flight lessons that I was going to start um, flying in more realism. And once I postponed my flight lessons, I kind of gave up on flying in more realism. But I do need to get back to learning more about flight and flying rather than just the basics like what I'm, what I'm doing today. I need to start focusing on the gauges and the proper um, approaches and reading charts and stuff like that. but not today so th that'll be one, one day i will get back into that butter landing for you you got crash damage on for the challenge oh nice hang on a minute let me let me butter this landing really quick and then i'll continue with chat <laughs> 
There we go. Thank you for dropping the base, Batman. Um, you may have crash like damage on for the challenge, but not so engine damage because going over spend is too easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dippo, um, I, I've, I keep saying that I'm going to do that one day. I'm probably going to save that for a Friday. One of my Friday streams will um, maybe get to a to an abandoned, not an abandoned airport, but a smaller airport and just have a VAT SIM controller or, or one or more just for the community here and all learn VAT SIM together. It's kind of my plan, but I, I need to coordinate that and figure that out. But anyways, Ivan, welcome in. How are you? Ivan, thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate that. Oh, very cool, Dippo. Thank you. Um, although I can't stream on Wednesdays, but if you tell me what Friday you can schedule it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. Um... So yeah, I know a lot of controllers now. Arch NDA, Meredith, uh, Dippo. There's several other controllers that I know. So what I had thought about doing is like coordinating an event on a Friday where there's controllers, and then we can all kind of learn Vat Sim together. Um, not and of course not the controllers, but the flyers, the the, the pilots. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's Ad Ad Astros. I don't know them. Okay, um, I'll be right back. Give me um, three to five minutes to uh, take a quick pee break and refill my water. Be right back, y'all. Uh, don't forget, hit those Fs in chat. Hit F in chat. Be right back.
Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Discuss, dude. Thank you for the uh, whoa, the two uh, 50 bit donations for the cheer. What's up, Okendu? How are you doing, my friend? Uh, so, Okendu, if you don't know Okendu, uh, go give him a follow. He's an amazing flight sim streamer, also, uh, does a lot of bush flying in the kit box. Good deal, man. Good to see you. All right, let's see here. Um, we need to fly out of runway three two, runway three two. So I'm gonna go ahead and taxi to the right. That'll be off to my right. Taxi out that way. And we'll take off and continue, continue our trek in Japan. Heartbreak should be off. Nope, now it's off. having a little discussion about vat sim i am not that familiar with vat sim i have done one vat sim flight uh, i picked an airport in the middle of nowhere in alaska a few weeks ago guy was super kind um i couldn't believe how nice the guy was and how patient he was um they, they, there was no traffic at the airport and he had been controlling at the tower for seven hours i would be bored out of my mind but a super nice guy i told him i was new and uh he was really patient with me All right, let's see here. So yeah, um, what you need to do is is pick a pick an airport and just find an airport that's um that's not busy at all, and just tell the person controlling that you're new. And yeah, I, I'm sure there's there's exceptions, but most of the time they're really nice. Um, she's done 30 on Boston Center with 30 hours. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh and start take off roll. All right, we're up. And so now I'm gonna um, turn all the way around, do a 180 after I clear the runway. I'm gonna make a left pattern and do a 180.
yeah i get what you're saying i guess sometimes sometimes it's hard for a controller to know um you know i probably should have done a right pattern out um so i wouldn't be flying over the city yeah, i bet you in real life this is one of the airports that you uh fly a right pattern out um but it's probably hard to tell sometimes as a controller whether someone's a noob or if they're just trolling Yeah, so Uncle Boris, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Uncle Boris, is one Friday. Um, I've had several streamers that are ATC controllers offer, um, including Dippo. So I've had Dippo, I've had Arch, I've had Merides, and one other one, I can't remember who, offered to do private lessons on VATSIM and ATC. So that's what I'm talking about, is picking a Friday and, and someone that we know, and they know, that everyone that's going to be there is an absolute noob and let's learn VAT sim so we can get over the um the nerves and the anxiety of not really knowing exactly what we're doing and i think once you know once you break that that surface tension then the rest of it is it's a, it's a whole lot easier it's kind of like the first time you talk in front of people um you're like super nervous and you're stuttering and stuff like that. But after you talk in front of people, in front of a crowd several times, then you're not all the way comfortable, but you're much more comfortable. So I think it's all about, you know, let's let's do a pick a, pick a day, a Friday for me streaming. Um, and let's just do it. No, so Detective Coles, um, what we're talking about, so Vat Sim in uh if 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 you're not exactly sure what we're talking about, um Vat Sim is another level of um realism in the in the sim. So like in real life there's people that are that are air traffic controllers, and so Vat Sim is virtual air traffic control, and it's meant to be real. I mean it, it's meant to be immersive and be just like it is in real life. And it's something you don't have to do. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not talking about the game itself. I'm sorry, Detective Coles. No. No, what we're talking about is a totally separate thing from Microsoft Light Sim. That Sim is an add-on, um, a separate add-on that is um, just adds air traffic control. So, no, Microsoft Light Sim itself, I mean, you can fly it as easy or as hard as you want to. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the, like Okendu said. That's that's what's awesome about flight sim is, you know, you can fly really it. Sure. Sam, low, but not okay. <laughs> um, Sam, I know y'all are tired. Jackbox, if you wanna uh, hop on in and show them who's boss. <clears throat> okay, so what we may need to do, what we may need to do is just agree to disagree. Um, cause I don't want, I don't want chat to turn into, um, I don't want chat to turn into, you know, a big, um, you know, back and forth, you know, not, not, not bickering, but you know what I mean? So let's just agree to disagree. And what we'll do, um, is it's going to be probably a month from now, maybe even longer. I'll get with several of, um, my streamer friends or controllers that are not necessarily streamers and we'll set up a we'll set up a day it doesn't even have to be a stream day 
but I would love to stream it so that people that are new to VAT Sim can come in and, and break that surface tension of learning it. Um, and we can just all learn together and, um, and see how that works. But Uncle Boris, I can totally understand, you know, your, your side of things. And that's one thing about me is that I can, I can sympathize with both sides of an argument. Um, it works really well, um, in politics. It doesn't really work well, um, in real life when, when you, when you're kind of stuck between two people and you can understand both sides of an argument because you, you kind of come off as two faced sometimes. And that's the way I come off sometimes because I can understand both sides of this, of this, um, this discussion. Oh yeah. Uncle Boris, for sure. For sure. Um, and I can, I can get where you're coming from. But there are, um, Uncle Boris, there are people out there um, like Dippo and um, several other streamers who are air traffic controllers who understand that not everyone's new and they're patient and they want to help. They want to help you get over your, your fear, your anxiety of um, flying in VATSIM. And so let's, um, let's let them teach us. But, but for me, being the... the the gatherer of all these people together in one place to make this event happen. It's going to take me some time because I'm on vacation next week, week after next, I'll be, um, demoing the, um, the study level mod to the 172 steam gauges version. And then maybe the week after that, we can do it. Yeah, it really would be nice to learn together. You have a history of people controlling how others play in the game specifically. Yeah, so Detective Coles, but but seriously, um, there is no there is no one telling you how to how to fly in Microsoft Flight Sim. It's just when you're on VAT Sim, when you're a pilot in real life. Let me back up. Um, exactly, exactly, De De Detective Coles. Yes. But in real life, if you're a pilot, you have to follow rules and you, and you do have to do what ATC says, or the FAA comes knocking or you call and you get fined or you get, you, you get your license revoked. So, uh, that sim adds that extra layer of realism that you, and, and rules that you have to follow. Yeah, 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 Uncle Boris, I totally get that. I mean, the way the way you worded, I have not seen that. I've not seen that quote, but I haven't looked either. Um, and yeah, that um, that quote almost seems like you know. I mean, I would be even more intimidated after seeing that. Like, dang, I'm afraid to get on here um, and fly with this elitist. Anyways, I'm just gonna let's let's think of something else to talk about. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, um, today we're flying around in Japan. In fact, let me show you where we are at. We're coming up on, um, we're coming up on another airport really close. It was only 25 miles away. Um, and we're going to do a touch and go at this airport. And then once we leave this airport, we'll fly 151 nautical miles to our final destination airport of today. Let's fly. Yes, let's fly. I mean, I love these discussions. Um, but when it becomes, when it becomes heated, we, we need to change it because I want to be a community of, of people that just love flight and flying. And yes, we want to learn. And we can learn, um, but when the topic gets heated, we need to change it. So let's fly. So flying along with us, we got Duracell. It'd be hilarious if we had Energizer, just like Cappy Stick said earlier. Uh, Frick Brick, Smiley Bow, Omne, Cappy Stick, and uh, Disco Stew. Uncle Boris, did you um, did you jump out? 
because you're you're still more than well oh you're taking off from rjco okay gotcha no worries And while we're at it, sim or game, right? Let's let's talk about let's talk and 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 then you did it swap planes. Oh, that's right. I forgot you were swapping planes. Uh, Uncle Boris, he's just being funny. So that's another, um, those are all, another con very controversial topics is, uh, do you adjust your, um, your mixture rich of peak or lean of peak? <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. So this airport we're coming up on, I am just going to do a touch and go here. Um, nothing fancy, just a, a quick touch and go, then we'll continue on. Pennywise, what's going on? Gosh, that was loud. Sorry about that, everybody. Sorry for your ears. Pennywise, what's going on? Good to see you. I resurrect. Thank you for your guests. And anyone else that would like to put a prediction in for how butter or not butter, I'll do my touch and go. Feel free to put them in there. Just put a negative number in. And that negative number is my my uh, rate of descent. So how quickly am I going to be descending when my wheels touch the pavement? Floating as always. <laughs> Zippo predicting 150. Thank you. My landings lately have been right in the neighborhood of negative 200. <laughs> Here comes the Boris. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Art of Sam has jumped in. There's our airport over there. I am going to be aiming for runway three, six. I think it is. No, how, where did where did I get that from? Runway one, nine. Run nine, one, nine L, uh, one, nine Lima. Since I am going to be just doing a touch and go that way, I'm not. Um, that close to the main airport. Yeah, I told that totally went over my head too, Disco Stu. I'm sorry. I don't, um, what song is that? Cause I know some Beatles songs, but that totally went over my head. Oh, Penny Lane. Oh, Duh. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. You know, sometimes, sometimes I just need to learn to keep my mouth shut and I don't look so stupid. One day I'll learn that. But, you know, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, right? Oh, Pennywise got the joke. And it went totally, <laughs> oh, totally over my head. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, good lord. It is part of the appeal, I guess. Yeah. There's something that draws y'all to me. I just haven't figured it out quite yet. Here comes the pun. Doo -doo. See, I get that one. <laughs> it's the goatee. Uh, yeah, good. Um, hey, Cajun Blade, what's going on? Welcome back. Um, so Tokyo was several streams ago. We did fly over Tokyo and, and actually flew over a lot of it, just kind of circling around, checking things out. But that was several streams ago, though. But it, it's, it was amazing. And I turned, um, I turned the lights, I turned the lights out. I turned, I, I went to dark. I changed the setting to dark outside so we can enjoy the lights too. But yeah, we, we flew uh, Tokyo Disney and checked everything out. It was beautiful. Oh, how'd the interview go, Sniffit? I love it. Bunch of beetle puns now. Fingers crossed. They seem to like you enough. Good deal. Good deal. You're too slow today. You know, something about streaming for me, when I get on stream, I don't know what it is, but I totally just, I don't know what, uh, I, uh, my mind... I think I just love streaming and flying so much that I, I uh, push everything else out of my mind, but flying and streaming. Technical team from uh, Mexico. Get brain farts. Yeah, I get brain farts a lot on stream. Words are hard, especially, I know I'm really low. I am way too low. Um, so one thing about me, for those of y'all that are new to the channel, and we've had, we've had a few people join today. Um, my main focus when I'm streaming is going to be on chat. So I pay a lot of attention to chat and that makes me not so good a pilot sometimes because I am so focused on you guys. <laughs> So I'm not the best pilot in the world, but I do try to be a very engaging streamer. And I hope y'all find me that. Uh, it is the uh, 172. Yep. The Cessna 172. Oh, you forgot to check the meteor. Oh, the weather over here is rough today. Um, sniff it. I am not on real weather because it, it, there's quite a storm over here. And that's what I want to be known as. I mean, of course, I want to be known as a flight simmer. But I also want to be known as a very engaging streamer. And so if I if I suck as a pilot, that's okay. All right, touch, and we're back up. Oh, that was a nice, smooth landing. Congratulations, Dippo, for winning that gas at 150. Especially with my socks. Yes, thank you. Stephen. Show us those. All right, so now I'm going to fly um, to the left. Make a left pattern out and we'll head to our final destination, which is 151 nautical miles away. So we got a ways to go here. Uh, it is. 
Did you post the METAR? Did I miss it? <laughs> socks S6, please. All right, my socks of the day. On the right foot, I've got my SpongeBob socks because we are out here in the ocean, uh, ocean surrounding us. So SpongeBob lives in a pineapple under the sea. SpongeBob socks on the right. And then uh, palm trees on the left. SpongeBob on the right. Palm trees on the left. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you for that. Oh, Uncle Boris, you have not seen my sock cam? Yes. Yes, I do have a dedicated sock cam. Elma Fudster, what's going on? How are you? Good to see you. Hope you are well. Oh, sniff it. I did miss that. Um, yeah, rain. <laughs> oh you just finished your pc upgrade during your lunch hour very cool very cool i'm gonna jump out of the plane now for a minute i'll fly external for a few minutes let's see who's flying along so we still have uncle boris with us duracell is here um derp derp has jumped in welcome on in derp yeah, if he sticks here, Art of Sam is here. Omne is still here with us. And uh, Disco Stu flying along with us today. Thank y'all for, yeah, thank y'all for flying along. Easy for me to say. Thank you, Sniffin. I totally missed it when you first uh, posted that. Derp, welcome on in. How are you doing, my friend? Saw you flying. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Try to hit 105 knots. Cruising speed. Uh, Pennywise, you mean the, the new, um, the new realism mod for the plane or no? Oh, FC, Funnel Cloud. Yeah, that would... Uh, there is. So Pennywise, um, the developer of that actually was in my chat earlier today, and I'm going to be getting a copy of it. Um, once they test it with my livery, then they're going to give me a copy of it that I can uh, that I can show off. So yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be um, two weeks. Well, a week. No, it's going to be two weeks away. But one Friday night i'll be showing that off oh what'd you download uh okay new so i'm super excited to be trying out the uh the new um very or very close to study level uh 172 mod that's coming out oh bush 172 cool Heck yeah. Okay, you're back. Did a quick test stream with OBS and found that well, you can have the chat in a separate window when you minimize. Oh. Um, so this is what I would do. Um, I would have flight sim up in a smaller window right beside. It's hard for me to explain what I'm talking about. Or yeah, you could use a laptop too. So, um, okay, dude, where'd you get it at? Where did you, oh, on flightsim.to? I think I've seen that on TO. Is it a paid, uh, is that a paid mod or is that a, a freeware? Skip, what's going on? How are you? Welcome on in. Good to see you. It, that's the free one. Okay. I have seen that one. I haven't got it. Um, I want to say I saw... 
I saw a streamer or saw it somewhere. That's pretty cool. So Pennywise, there is a new 172 coming out that's going to be payware that um, basically makes this plane um, full study level or very close to study level. Uh, and the dev was in my channel earlier and they're going to give me a copy of it um, as soon as they test it with my livery and make sure that it's going to work. But I'm super excited about that because I love the Steam Gauges 172. It's amazing. Hey, what's up, cowboy? How are you doing? Yeah, tail dragger and nose wheel. Nice. Very cool. So CIA Cowboy is another um, flight sim streamer friend of the community here. Uh, you know what? I don't think I even shouted Okendu out. I'm sorry. Uh, let me shout out um, Okendu and Cowboy. I get so involved in uh, uh, in streaming that I sometimes forget to shout people out. I'm sorry. You get to make it to it, it, uh, it's You're welcome, man. Fun. Sorry about that. Yeah, Muse fan, I've noticed that the GNS 530 doesn't want to function correct. And uh, or we'll, we'll come out a little bit and get our approach right, because we still got tons of speed out here. We got tons of speed. So Okandu is a, um, a flight sim streamer who flies a lot of bush. I know a lot of you guys know him. Uh, CIA Cowboy is another flight sim streamer. Um, his streams are are more... Um, so he's a pilot in real life. He also loves helping people in real life, giving back to the community, and also um, his streams are always to give back to the community. Also, he loves a big, big heart for veterans and people who have served the country. Um, so go give CIA Cowboy a follow if you have not already. Okay, got to head out, Resurrect. No problem, man. Thank you for being here. It's always good to see you, Resurrect. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you for dropping that bass. Thank you for dropping the bass. I appreciate that. And Commander John Pookie, thank you for following Cowboy. Cowboy's a really, really good streamer. Um, great friend. And again, really has a heart for people. And I'm going to be giving him my old uh, yoke and throttle quadrant because he's he's setting up a room for veterans to be able to go and fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator um, so that they can get their mind off of, you know, whatever they're suffering with or whatever they're going through. So um, as soon as I can find a box big enough, I'm going to ship my old um, yoke and throttle quadrant to him and just gift it, gift it to him so that he can have another station for another veteran to fly and, and help them with their therapy. The stash is actual flaps. So we do have some pretty significant mountains right now, um, but it won't be long and we'll clear those mountains. The Disco Stu, thank you for 200 bits. It won't be long and we'll be clear of these mountains, so I'm not going to climb up too high. Uh, in real life, I should be, if I'm not mistaken, 2,000 feet above um, the highest peak here. Yeah, I was thinking that was right. Thank you, Dippo. So when I decided I wanted to go for my PPL, um, after I talked to the certified flight instructor, I asked him what ground school I should be doing. And so he recommended the King School ground school. And I am doing that. I'm actually 
almost three quarters of the way through ground school. So I've learned a lot. But I kind of feel like some of it is not sticking with me because I'm not flying and learning it at the same time. I'm a hands-on learner. I'm not necessarily a book learner. So I'll learn so much more once I actually am able to start flying. But at least I'll have that foundation of the ground school once I'm able to start flying. Oh, man. Skipper. You are amazing. Thank you so much, man. I can't wait. I cannot wait to try that out. And uh, Skipper, I'll let you know when I do the stream. It's probably going to be a week from, well, two weeks from this coming Friday. But I'll let you know whenever I'm going to show it off. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that a lot. Viper with a test question. Thank you for that. How far will an aircraft travel in 7.5 minutes with a ground speed of 114 knots? All right, wait a minute. Um, shoot, hang on. So it's going to be less than... Lord, I have no idea. My brain is not working right. I I'm with Sniff It. Um, 7.5. So if it was 10 minutes, it would be 11 point. No. Yeah. My brain's not working. I'm sorry. Oh man. Skipper. I'm so excited to try it out. I really am. This goes through, uh, your brother picked up a 74 Cuda in purple dude in purple. In case anyone is wondering purple is my absolute favorite color just in case you know y'all didn't figure that out already oh man that's gonna be awesome yeah skipper thank you so much man i'm so excited to try it <laughs> oh 14.25 thank you viper Thank you for uh, giving me the actual number instead of me trying to go over it in my head, which I already said like 15 minutes ago that when I'm streaming, I lose my mind, just uh, goes to jelly apparently. So thank you for that. I love Twitch, Boris. I really do. <laughs> yeah, my brain's not working right. Yeah, I love the Cessna 172. I have flown this plane as long as I've been a flight sim streamer. Um, every now and then I'll jump in something else. Like in when we were flying Norway, I flew the Kit Fox. Uh, during my spring break charity world tour, we flew the Kit Fox. Uh, but this is my go-to plane, and that's why I'm so excited that Jeff was willing to uh, give me the give me that copy. I cannot wait. You just wrecked yours answering technical questions for 90 minutes, right? And Dippo, anytime you put parentheses in a uh, in an equation with math, uh, it, it just totally blows my mind. Although those aren't part of the equation, you just put that in there. Oh, that's true, Viper. Thank you. I wasn't even, I w I, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to relate it to the next closest number so that I could kind of estimate and then guess, guess best off my, based off my estimation. That's what calculators are for or slide rules, right? I do have an E6B. I'm sitting beside my recliner in my den because that's the part of the ground school that I'm doing right now is learning navigation. Um, and I, I need to do more of it at one time because I'm like just doing part of it as I can. And it's, I'm not really retaining it because I'm just doing a little bit at a time. And thank you for that explanation, Viper. Yeah, you can figure it on the E6B, and that's something else I want to do one day. Super Typhon, what's up, dude? 
Um, that's something else I want to do one day is an E6B stream, just like an educational how to do it. But um, I need to know it a lot before I can teach someone how to use it because I love teaching. Teaching is what I do in that's my profession, my profession, what I do um, in real life professionally is I'm a teacher. Uncle Boris is a 747 lover, y'all. Teaching something is the best way to learn it because you need to know it and be prepared to answer any questions that you are not in. And trust me, even if you think of every question that might be asked, asked, someone is going to ask a question you are not prepared for and just, just make you look like an idiot. Oh, wow. You're prof I didn't know you had, I didn't realize you had a doctorate. You have taught statistics at graduate level. Nice. E6Bs blow your mind. Yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm really excited to learn it. Um, yes, it's tough. Turn off engine and aircraft stress. When you're in charge of divisional training, you found one of your sailors with deficiency in their knowledge. Yeah, Skipper, for sure. That's that's my plan. Um, so, a few months ago, Skipper, I decided that I wanted to go for my PPL. And the, um, the instructor told me how much it was going to be. And it's basically $200 uh, with him involved uh, with rent and everything an hour. $200 an hour. So, I knew I had at least 10 hours at $200 an hour. And I had $2,000 saved back and I thought, well, between the initial 2000 and then me putting back as I go, I should be able to squeeze by and get enough flight flights in. But I quickly discovered that, no, I'll burn through that $2,000 really quick. And so I told him I was going to postpone it until I pay off some debt and then put back some money. But yeah, that's really good advice. Thank you. And no, I don't want to become famous. Thank you very much, though. At least not that way. I mean, I'd love to be famous, but not um, not through buying it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do is um, pay off some debt and then put back. I'm going to need at least $8,000 to be able to fly as consistently and often as I need to to be able to retain it. And then I'll be good. Ah, oh, man. COVID screwed you up. Waiting for a decent J3 club. Oh, man. The plane was $35. Wow. So, um, in 1994, Skipper... 1994, I decided I wanted to go for my private pilot's license. And so I flew with uh, one of our neighbors was a CFI. So I flew with him and I got sick as a dog. And I decided, you know, I just can't do this. Even though he told me that I would get used to flying and, and would get over my air sickness. I just couldn't do it. But Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Sim has brought back that love. And I don't remember how much it was then, but renting the plane is 135 an hour, which has probably gone up now with fuel prices. But a couple, a few months ago, it was 135 an hour plus 50 for the CFI. And that was in this plane, a 172 with gauges. Yeah, I'm sure, and that was a, it was a wet rental, meaning that that includes the fuel too. The cost includes the fuel, so yeah, I'm sure it's more than that. 180ish in New Hampshire, which they were talking about bumping it up to 150 because they were going to put um, avionics in it, which would then bump it up to 150 to help pay offset the cost of the avionics. But I'm not sure if they ever got around to that. Uh, so PPL, yes, does require a minimum of 10 hours with a CFI and then 40 hours to get your PPL minimum. So 
you know, I'm realistically, do I think I'll get my PPL in 40 hours? Mm, probably not. So realistically, I've got to know that I'm going to spend more than $8,000 initially. And actually, it won't necessarily be eight thousand because it's not it's not two hundred an hour for the whole forty. It's only two hundred an hour for as long as I need over ten hours. The um, CFI is it? it uh, I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong on that, cowboy. What what did it used to be? Oh, 20 hours, 20 hours and 10 hours of, oh, okay. See, I had the 10 hour. Okay. That's where I got 10 hours from was from solo flight. So my bad, I got confused on the 10 hours. So 20 with a CFI and then 10 solo. Gotcha. Thank you for posting that. Either way, it's going to get expensive. Thank you, Viper. Well, and see, my other issue, though, is my health. So I do have a heart issue, and I am taking medication that's a no. So there's there's no go. There is there's no go medicine, and then there's you you might can get your uh, PPL if you're taking this medication. One of my medications is a definite no. Um, so I'll have to talk to my doctor about getting it changed. Uh, what's our destination? The destination is going to be Romeo, Juliet, Charlie, November. R-J-C-N. Romeo, Juliet, Charlie, November. What's up, devil dude? How are you doing, my friend? I mean, I could do the light, I could do the light sport, but still, it's still a financial thing though, cowboy. So either way, I'm going to postpone it. And by then, um, I will have already seen my heart doctor and hopefully gotten things changed. Oh, you're lurking here 15 minutes. Nice. Thank you for the lurk devil, dude. Always good to see you. Show us those Super Typhon, thank you for the sock command. I appreciate that. Really good discussions today, y'all. I mean, I'm enjoying that. So my socks of the day, on the right foot, I've got my SpongeBob socks. On the left foot, palm trees. Because we're flying in Japan, we're in the ocean, we're in the sea. SpongeBob lives in a pineapple under the sea. And then palm trees because we're in the tropics with palm trees. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you for that. Lap of the earth into the valleys. What now? Oh, okay, cowboy. Well, that makes sense. Oh, fly lower. Fly lower. The problem with flying lower, though, I mean, yes, I thought about flying lower. The problem with that is I usually get stuck in a valley that dead ends, and then I'm going to crash, and I don't want to crash any more than what I already have today. So, so thank you, Sniffit, but I, I, um, oh, thank you, Boris. So when I first started streaming, that's the one thing that I wanted to do to set my, myself apart from everyone else or from a lot of, not everyone else, but a lot of other people was I wanted to be well known as someone who, um, really interacted, engaged with their chat. Even when I was a, um, even when I was a variety streamer, I, I sucked at what I was playing because I was focusing so much on in engaging with chat. Oh, you managed to peek a few times during the interview. Nice. What? 
Even during an interview, you were peeking. What? Shit me a DM with what part of Kentucky. Uh, Cowboy, I'll do that. I'm in South Carolina, though. And not that I expected you to know that. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do that. Well, it's just that I, and, and again, I don't, I'm not better than anybody else. I don't consider myself better than anyone else, but I want to be, um, that person to where as soon as you come in chat and say, hello, I greet you and I make everybody feel, you know, like somebody immediately. Oh, they were, oh, Swan. Little Nightmare 2. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That was... Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was hilarious. Got some really good clips off that, too, Swan. Oh, so, Cowboy, no problem. I didn't mean to... Uh, I didn't mean to, um, to sound derog derogatory towards you by saying that I was from South Carolina, not Kentucky. Sorry. Uh, do I also use the Stream Deck for streaming... So I use it mostly for streaming, Jeff. So I use it um, to post my emotes in chat. I also change camera view with it. And uh, switch scenes. But I don't really use it as a controller um, in Microsoft Light Sim with the exception of just um, changing cameras like to the drone view or internal, ex internal external. That's it. Some people have told me that there are add-ons you can use to where you can see, you know, different instruments and stuff like that. I just haven't played around with it. Everything south of I-70 is North Kentucky as far as you're concerned. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Yeah, Uncle Boris, I do have a stream deck. Um, oh, that's cool. It's a universal control. Oh, that's awesome. So what do you um what do you control with it, Skipper? I'm just curious how you use it. So yeah, Boris, I've had a stream deck. Um so another thing about me is if I'm going to do something, I usually go all out. I mean, like my wife will tell you if I, if I'm going to buy something, I want the best. And, and I, again, I don't want to sound like I'm all that because I'm not, I'm really not, but that's just how I am. If I'm going to spend money on something, I want to get the best. Don't ask me about the yoke and throttle. Um, so before I ever started streaming, I bought the Go XLR. I got a stream deck. Um, I got a, anyways, I bought a lot of really nice stuff before I ever started streaming. Uh, this mic, I spent a lot of money. And so when I started streaming, I had everything I needed and I wouldn't need to upgrade it. But that's just the way I am. Every, you don't even use a mouse anymore? Wow. Um, so is that an add on or you just programmed everything you use key binds for it? No, I mean, but, but really, um, Dippo, I mean, I get what you're saying. But really, I'm I'm just a normal guy. <laughs> I'm a normal guy, and and honestly, I promise, I'm a normal guy who is just who who's blessed, um, with, with an awesome community. I mean, I really, I'm nothing. I, I really am. I'm just the guy who doesn't know that much about flying, um, who just loves people and loves streaming, and you know, so many times after I'm through streaming, I just sit back and I'm like. Wow. 
what just happened and why why do people enjoy me so much and and i appreciate it but i'm really a humble guy except when i'm around my wife a normal guy that lurks in you and i love i love lurking in other people's channels need to break the soldering iron out and solder some tails to them I just enjoy people. I do. And, you know, whatever happens from there happens. I'm just me, right? I am just me. So, um, a little about me for those of y'all that are new to the channel. In real life, I'm an automotive technology instructor. Um, once I graduated college for automotive technology, I got a degree in automotive technology. Once I graduated from there, I worked um, for 14 years as a technician at a uh, Chevrolet Mazda dealership. Well, it was Chevrolet Mazda, Cadillac, GMC, Pontiac, Saturn for a very short period of time. And then the next 14, I was a service manager at um, a Chevrolet Cadillac dealership. And now I'm a teacher. I'm a um, instructor at a local community college and I teach students how to diagnose and repair vehicles. So I love, I love people. And I really feel like my full-time job and this play really well off of each other because I feel like being a streamer has helped me become a better instructor and being an instructor has helped me be a better streamer as well. <laughs> right. Dippo, even shorter than that. Honest, actually, actually just shorter than that. Oh, is that an update? Oh, what's the announcement? Oh, nice. So that's your, um, that's your fix for the sound. Oh, you were talking to Oz Wookie about that. Oh, nice. 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 I'll have to check that out. All right. Let me get my, uh, little nav map back up here. That was for the newest update update to the goose. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. And I talked about this a lot too. Um, I will be at FS Expo next year. So if anyone's interested in going to Flight Sim Expo or if you haven't heard about it, type in exclamation F s e foxtrot sierra echo uh type that into chat exclamation exclamation fse and that that'll give you the information about flight sim expo but i do plan on being there uh my next my next twitch payouts over the next year will actually help um go towards getting me there and then after that or, or along with that i do plan on saving up for flight lessons as well or at least paying off debt to be able to do flight lessons oh challenge 1987 nissan maxima just started clicking at fixed speed 2.5 a second when accelerating really okay so it's a it's not rpm or speed dependent 2.5 2 to 5 a second when accelerating oh starter that's the starter uh the starter drive it was uh is bad in the the in the little tooth that engages the starter to the flywheel is bouncing against the flywheel turn off the turn signal renting a party bus dude i would love I would love so much if I had the, 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 the money to do that. That would be really, uh, the starter does clutch out. However, however, the drive for the clutch can fail 
and then the gear um will bounce and hit the starter will hit the flywheel um depending on inertia and it really depends on how the starter is mounted but if it's under acceleration then i would say the starter is probably mounted longitudinally and so the gear is bouncing back and hitting the flywheel That would be real. That would be so cool, cowboy, to just travel around and pick everyone up on the way. You get purchase offers every time you take it out. But you you've had it new and it's easy to work on yourself. Oh heck yeah. So my background, um I'm not that familiar with Nissans. A Nissan Maxima, so that's a rear wheel drive car, right? I bet you it is the starter if it's rear wheel drive. Yeah, please do. I've actually helped people repair their cars on stream. Uh, Sergeant Staff, I, I helped um, I helped him with his car. There's been a couple other people. But yeah, ask me. In fact, I actually thought about being a car repair streamer at one point. But I'm so glad I didn't go that route. Yeah, what's up, Derp? What you got? That crowd looks a little scruffy, right? Literally, literally scruffy. Oh, that's okay. We can swing by Southeast Asia, just float the bus across the ocean and pick you up. Your car talk all over again, right? Yes. Super niche crowd, yeah. Oh, Honda CVTs? I know nothing about Honda CVT transmissions. I know CVTs are not at all reliable um, from my experience now. Uh, but I don't I don't know that much about them. I, I know how they operate. I know the principle behind how they work, but that's pretty much it. But go ahead and ask me. Right? Yeah, Duracell, it could be. CVTs, Black Magic. Eagle, what's up, Costella? How are you doing? Fired up the beast and go to work. Okay, cowboy, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you hanging out, man. It's always good to see you. Thank you. Costella, I hope you're doing well. How are you doing? <laughs> right, they did. They did. They they screw up a lot of stuff, uh, Viper. Rear wheel drive, need to put it on a dyno. You'd be able to hear it with the hood up and running under load. Or guess what is causing the noise? Um. So Jeff, if you're sitting still, if you're sitting still and you rev it up, does it still make the noise then, or is it just when you're accelerating, like you're moving and you accelerate that it makes the noise? Because that will make a difference as well. We need to learn how to work on your Jeep Cherokee. So just under acceleration, even when sitting still or just while you're driving skipper, I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm just trying to, trying to get it, get it narrowed down a little bit. So is it while you're driving and accelerating or just sitting still and, and you're accelerating the engine, just revving the engine. Sorry. Um, 2020 Honda Civic Sport. Sometimes when you decelerate and come to a stop, it chugs a little bit. It's definitely drive train. Um, it's probably going to be, um, Hello. Sniff it. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate that. Uh, Skipper, I would be willing to. I would say probably 90% sure that it's your starter drive. I mean, I could be totally, I could be totally wrong. Um, but I would 
I would be about 90% that it's your starter drive. Especially since it's rear wheel drive. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Yeah, yeah. So the return spring skipper is probably uh, failed on it. And what's happening is that that drive gear on the starter, when you accelerate, it's it's sliding back and hitting the flywheel. But when you're decelerating or you're just at cruise speed, the spring or just the inertia is keeping it pulled back towards the starter where it should be. I've seen that many, many times on General Motors vehicles. I'm not that familiar with with the, the vehicle that you're talking about specifically. Um, but I've seen it a bunch in my years as a technician. And that's, that's where I would look first. Uh, first. first of all, I'm, hey, settle down. I'm Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that screws that, that totally blows that away. Then if the starter's horizontal, never mind. I was thinking it was rear wheel drive. So the starter was, uh, mounted. Uh, longitudinally but if it's mounted transversely that's a totally different story then all right let me ask you this skipper um do, do you get any shaking when you accelerate to shaking in the steering wheel at all or no um in derp yes i would i would lean more towards what viper said it could be possible that the torque converter isn't disengaging quick enough causing that too but yeah i'm thinking it's just hunting for the right no shaking okay i have no idea then skipper jeff um sniff it thank you so much for being here i appreciate it alutan how are you doing today or alutan alutan however you pronounce that good to have you thank you for the follow We are um, about 70, 70 or so nautical miles from our final destination of the day. I'm going to speed up just a little bit, just so we'll get there quicker. Yeah, you know, if uh, Jeff, if I could hear the noise, it might make a difference. But I'm just trying to think of what could make the tapping noise when you're accelerating. And Skipper, um, also, if you can capture the noise on an audio file in um, Discord, message it to me or whatever. I'll be glad to listen to it too, and see if I see if I know. But um, it's funny because a lot of a lot of vehicles just have characteristics. Like if it, a General Motors vehicle, if you tell me a symptom, I can pretty much for the most part, tell you what it is or have a really good guess as to what it is. But I'm just not that familiar with Nissan, even though in principle, all vehicles operate the same. Um, each manufacturer just has its own little quirks. What's up, Professor Woolen? How are you doing? Lurking while you finished working? Thank you for the work lurk. I appreciate that. I do that a lot. I do a lot of work lurking. So, uh, Professor Willand is another flight sim streamer, good friend of the community here, and I really enjoy his as well. There we go. There's a lurk for, I mean, a lurk, a shout out for Professor Willand. You can't get the noise unless the car is moving. It's coming from under the hood. Put a mic under the hood when driving or find a family... But see, I have a feeling. So I'm not sure. Captain Arash, how are you doing, my friend? 
So Captain Arash, many of y'all I know know Captain Arash. A uh, very oh, no. awesome flight sim streamer, good friend of the community. Oh, How are you doing, Captain Arash? Hit by lightning. Thank you, Costello. I appreciate that. Uh, Captain Arash, I'm doing really, really well. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking. Doing fantastic. Um, so Skipper, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that even on a dyno, it's not going to do it. Cause I have, I'm thinking it's something to do with inertia, something, something while you're moving and you accelerate, um, those G forces that you get is moving something and causing it. And so you're not going to get that inertia that those G forces, when you take off, um, you know, when you accelerate on a dyno or even with jack stands. So I have a, I, I would be willing to bet that you're not going to duplicate it on a dyno or sitting still. Nice. I was going to recommend, I didn't know if he was, I was going to recommend, um, Captain Arash Skipper. Um, I, I really, really enjoy Captain Arash's streams. Uh, so much. And I wish I was at the level of knowledge that Captain Arash is on this plane. Okay, so it's under load, not necessarily. Hmm. What year? What year was it again? Is it 80? Was it an 80 something or a 90 something? I'm scrolling back up in chat to try to. 1987. Okay. Um, uh, not yet, Captain Arash, but I've got it now. Um, so they just, um, he just gave it to me a little while ago. He tested my livery with it and, uh, it worked well with a couple of little adjustments. So yes, I do have it. I'm going to load it in after streams over. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. Very excited about it. Um, 1987 so that one would have a distributor are you familiar a three liter engine so that's a v6 right it should be a v6 for an 80s to be that size are you familiar with what spark knock sounds like no but if it's doing it sitting still it wouldn't be Spartan Oct, V6. And so the engine, is the engine mounted longitudinally or is the engine mounted transversely? How's the engine, how's the engine situated under the hood? Is it longitudinal or is it transversely? So does it sit in there sideways or long ways? Okay, so it's transverse, gotcha. It's a constant frequency no matter the speed or the RPM. That's wild. Um. Wow, 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 wow. I am I am not sure. Put some hundred put some hundred LL in it to see what happens. Um You have totally blown my mind on that one. I am not sure, Skipper Jeff.
So does it sound like it's coming from inside the dash? Or from under the hood for sure? Are you 100% sure it's coming from under the hood? Excuse me. <laughs> we trace the call. It's coming from inside the house. <laughs> Under the hood, you think? Difficult to tell. Okay. Again, I'm not that familiar with Nissans. However, the um, some of the newer some of the newer vehicles that have the the uh, climate control. The older, older vehicles, the climate control, like where the where the, um, the air conditioning or the heat would blow out at your face or to the uh, defrost or to the floor or in the hot and cold was vacuum controlled. It was controlled off of the engine vacuum. So you turn a knob, it would send vacuum to a, a vacuum motor, which would change the door. Okay, Swan, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a good afternoon too. Thank you. Take care of yourself and... Um, I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be praying for your husband's surgery. I hope everything goes well. And I'll be, um, watching social media to see, see how it goes or let me know, let me know how it goes. And so that was older, like seventies and some 80 vehicles used vacuum controls, even, even as much as some nineties, newer vehicles use motors. They use electric motors that use plastic gears in them. Yeah, me too. So they use plastic gears in them and the plastic gears over time uh, will just strip or the um, the center of, of the shaft that they ride on will get worn to the, or yeah, will get worn to the point to where the gears don't mesh good anymore and that will cause a, a rhythmic clicking sound too. So it's possible that if you have the plastic gear type of actuator that changes your defrost and your hot cold that one of those could fail. And so the, the way you diagnose that is no, that's okay. Skipper. I don't mind it. I, I am just as passionate about cars than I, as I am about flight and flying. So no worries. Um, another thing I would say for you to try and then, then we can move on is Oh, it is vacuum control. Okay, never mind. That is, that answers that question. Wow. Um I would love to let I would love for you to let me know if you figure it out what what it is. Yeah. And see, I started as a technician in 1988, so I'm familiar with the old vehicles. Heck yeah. Armor all armor all is good stuff. I started out with Mazda in 1988 and I loved the Mazdas until like, yeah, if you can get me a sound recording, that'd be amazing. That may help click something in my brain that'll help figure it out. Um, I really, really enjoyed working on Mazdas until Ford. I think it was in 1991 or 1990. I don't know. It was it was in the early 90s that Ford bought a 51 percent stake in Mazda, and then everything was that was Mazda was pretty much a Ford with a Mazda emblem on it. And I didn't like working on them then. But the true Mazdas were amazing vehicles. You started kindergarten in 1988. What? Oh, that's really cool, Skipper. <laughs> Dippo. That's hilarious. You always mix up armor all and under armor, but hey, at least my Honda Fit will stay cool and dry while out in the summer hot, a uh, hot summer sun. All right, let me jump outside the plane, see who all is still flying along with us. I have not shown anyone that's flying along some love in a while today. Uh, Dirt, thank you for flying along. Duracell, Art of Sam, Disco Stu still here. And uh, looks like everyone else has yep, disappeared.
so uh today we're flying along in japan i'm doing this thing that i call the connections tour is what we're doing now um we are yeah it did cost the red bull guys yes it did we are um flying from vietnam over in asia all the way to alaska in north america so we're connecting asia and north america is why it's called the connections tour should have gotten one of the good hondas made in marysville ohio heck yeah so that's why i call it the connections tour we're connecting uh asia to north america just doing some island hopping and we're wrapping up in japan today actually this last airport that we're about to be landing at is our last airport in Japan. And then we leave Japan and we fly some Russian islands for the next little while. Trivia, well, what's wrong with that Asobo 172's landing light? Mm. Hang on a minute. I am not sure. I am not sure. That's uh that is beyond my level of knowledge right there. It should not be on the wing. Oh, really? airlock doc welcome back um i didn't realize that thank you for that information skipper so it should be um it should be right right here in this area or was it right here uh no more crashes airlock doc i was uh I've done pretty good. I've done pretty good so far over the last, well, you were gone, but now that you're back, very interesting. So does that mod change that skipper? Is that why you were? Is that why you were checking on the livery? No, no air lot dot. That is not at all what I'm saying. Oh, wow. They moved it there because the bulbs lasted longer when not on the wing. I wonder if that's due to vibration or the, the flexing of the wing is why they didn't last as long. Oh, okay, you can't move the light. It's in the encrypted model. That's really cool. No, I, know I didn't know that. And Captain Arash, if you're still here, I really, really enjoyed your stream last night. Um, I have not been able to um, join in the streams lately because of work, but last night my students got done a little bit early, so I was able to hang out there and uh, they really enjoyed that. So the, and it, again, if you're still here, I know you're work lurking, but if you can hear me, the... The spreadsheet looked like a spreadsheet you used. Did you create that yourself or is that available somewhere? And if so, where? Oh, dude, I, I really enjoy your stream. So they're so educational.
Uh, yeah, for Celestial, I know E. I know the E6B. That's um, that that is online. I've seen that. But yeah, the the Celestial navigation. Here comes the crashes. Nah, nah. These are just little mountains to fly over. Yeah, I saw that. I wasn't able to be in the trivia because I was work lurking. So I wasn't able to be a part of that, but I did see where that was uh that was what he was giving away. Oh no, you just had a CTD. Oh, airlock dot lean and mean. No, no problem at all, dude. Okay, so you made that yourself. I wasn't sure if that was uh, something you found online or what. So, uh, airlock dot is redeemed the lean and mean. Uh, so that means I need to lean out the plane to the point where the plane um, actually loses uh, power. And then, airlock dot, if it's okay with you. I'm going to make it uh, lean and mean for five minutes because we're really close to the next airport and just see if I can stay up for five minutes or um, or crash out. So let me uh, let me get it stable really quick first. OK, cool. Thank you. All right. Now I'm going to lean it out to where the engine's struggling. All right, that definitely is a noticeable difference. And let's go. Oh, Devil Dude, remind me of that. Um, I don't think I follow Falco, so I'm I'm totally down for rating rating someone new. Yeah, you're right. There, thank you. <laughs> Chipotle Clark, thank you for the follow. Chipotle Clark, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. All right. First of all, I'm flying way off course. Oh, that makes sense. That, that, that makes total sense, Captain Arash. Um, that is something I want to learn one day is how to fly in, using celestial navigation. But man, it is so impressive um, how, how accurate it is without you using a, a GPS map to know exactly where you are. A derp. We are going to be landing at Romeo Juliet Charlie November. R J C N. Uh, not sure how to pronounce that name, the name of the airport, but that's where we'll be at. Chipotle Clark, thank you again for that follow. I appreciate it. How are you, my friend? Are you a flight simmer? So this doesn't. Screaming in from RJ say RG RJ CK. Oh yeah, because you're doing it. Um, you're doing it just because you're doing it just like uh, just like um Amelia Earhart would have done it. Naka Shibetsu, Naka Shibetsu. You've hit Mach two. What? Oh crap, I didn't set the timer, did I? Uh, I'm going to see if I can make it to the airport because we're really close to the airport and I didn't lean it out as far as I did last time either um, because I really had the engine almost at idle last time when I'm really supposed to do it just where it starts running bad. But it's still, I mean, you can see it's, it's, it's lean. It's 
So I'm just going to try to make it to the final airport. Yeah, I know. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, so you're just welcome to the addiction, Chipotle Clark. Um, as soon as I bought Microsoft Flight Simulator, I totally got addicted to it. And um, someone who used to be a variety streamer, streaming a lot of different games, suddenly became a Microsoft Flight Simulator um, streamer. Captain Rosh, thank you so much. Um, it's probably going to be a little while, Captain Rosh, before I do that. Mrs. Max Knife, how are you doing? Thank you so much for that resub. How are you? It has been a while since you've been here, since I've been on your channel. How are you? Good to see you. How's everyone doing? Thank you so much for the resub also, Ms. Max Knife. I'm doing fantastic. Doing really, really well. Thank you. 100% install the Pelican because I, oh no, I've got the Pelican. I've got it. I downloaded it, but I haven't flown it yet. She is doing well. She's doing really good. I, I guess you know that she's pregnant. Um, she's already got a C-section scheduled for the end of September. I'm going to lean it out some more. I mean, I, I really, it doesn't seem to be affecting it much. How steep is the game's learning curve? Um, no, uh, Chipotle, it really depends on, on you and how quickly you, you retain what you learn. So if, let me ask you this, first of all, is flying something that you've always been fascinated with and that you really like, because if, Flying is something that you've been fascinated with and that you enjoy or you're just curious about. You will absolutely love it and do well at it. Um, but what I would recommend doing is what I did. I started out with the, um, with just the learning part, fly the lessons in the sim where it teaches you how to fly level and steady, how to turn level and steady. And stuff like that it's um it's really cool but yeah you can start out this is what i started out flying with this xbox controller that's how i started flying and then i've bought um two different yoke and throttle quadrants already and i've only been flight simming since september since august of last year Pitch black? What do you, like you're in. Oh, you'll really appreciate leaning and plug fouling and how to clear the fouling. Oh, nice, Skipper. Cool. I didn't know it was that deep into, uh, into it. That's awesome. Yeah, so Chipotle, that's what I started out doing was just the, the basics of flight. And then once I became kind of comfortable and knew how to take off and land, I haven't even completed all the, you know, the, um, training stuff. I love it. I love it so much. You're welcome, Derp. Thank you for being here. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to clear these mountains. I don't think I'm going to clear the mountains. Right now, I'm wide open throttle. I'm just looking to see if there's a valley somewhere that I can fly into. Because I, I think if I make it past the mountains, then I'll make it to the airport.
but man i am 80 80 knots if i have to climb at all i'm gonna i'm gonna end up at stall speed if i need to climb at all or at least much yeah it's it has been but i'm still gonna try to make it yeah i am losing altitude i brought um i brought the the lean mixture back a lot further than than it was but it's a good challenge so i'm gonna see if i can make it oh nice so it's like really real That's cool, Skipper. I'm really excited to try it out. If I can make it over this, I might, might be okay. Okay, there's another... There's another mountain, but I gained a little bit of speed there. You can't see my names yeah i'm definitely a tree hugger yeah so i've got to make it over this next uh set of mountains here and then it's all downhill it looks like potentially there is another hill but nowhere near as high as these so i think if i can stick it right here or right here then i should be good let's see So what I'm doing, if you're just joining the channel, the channel, I had a uh, viewer redeem a challenge where I have to lean the engine way back to where um, it hardly has any power. And so I'm at wide open throttle right now, but I've got it leaned out so much that um, it's really struggling to make it over these hills. But we're super close to our next airport. Well, not super close, but close enough where I think I can baby it to get it there. If I can just make it over these hills. I know, right, Skipper? You know why, though? Because I'm in live weather. I mean, I'm not in live weather. Um, the live weather here right now is horrendous. It's like really bad storms. So I rolled back live weather at the start of stream. And that's why there's no turbulence. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, it's pitch black. Oh yeah, it is pitch black. That's right. Cause it's, it's uh, in the middle of the night over there. I forgot about that. You're using live everything. Man, check this out. I'm just gliding in. I really haven't lost much airspeed at all. I'm still hovering at around 80. And now if I can pitch, if I can pitch it just right, we should be able to just glide into the airport, hopefully. You're going to be exploring the Greek islands or the Italian islands. Nice. But if it looks like I'm going to crash, then I will go ahead and um, reach in the mixture up just to make it to the airport because I don't want to crash and then have to um, slew again. But this has been a nice little test though. Thank you a lot, Doc. Two times in one stream. What? Are you gonna be streaming it or um or just just doing it off stream? Yeah, I mean, because actually it's been more than five minutes, but still it's this is a nice little challenge though. No way I'm gonna make it to the airport. I'm just going to see how far I can make it.
I'm almost at stall speed. You get interrupted too much? Gotcha. You know, I finally had to tell... As bad as this is going to sound, I finally had to tell my wife... And, uh, and Tam the OG, my daughter, will also tell you that I told him, look, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make a streaming schedule. So I just leaned it. I mean, I just reached in the mixture back up. I told my wife, look, I'm going to set a regular streaming schedule and think of this as the news, live news. Don't, you know, if I'm live, this is my streaming schedule and you know, not to bother me. Uh, well, I'm streaming because this is just like the news, you, you know, the newscasters, the, the, the reporters, their husbands or wives don't come in and say, Hey, I need you for something while they're, while they're live on TV. And I don't, I, and I didn't say it like that, but I just let them know that, look, I'm taking this serious. I want to grow my channel. And to do that, I have to do this with no interruptions or, or very few interruptions. And she took it well. Yes, exactly, Skipper. And I've I've learned that for sure. Okay, Uncle Boris, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very, very much. <laughs> Breaking news. Scruffy needs to take the bins to the road. We'll have more at 11. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all. I got another... Um, Another narration job for another uh, virtual air show. Coming up. I'm supposed to be getting the script by tomorrow so I can uh, so I can pre-record it. It's going to be pre-recorded because the show is on the 4th of July, actually. It's going to be a 4th of July air show, so I would not be able to do it live. I'll be with my family. So I asked them if I could pre-record it, then I would I would definitely do it. So if y'all watch the Wings Over the Web air show on um, MSFS Official, I was the voice of the opening video and also the voice of the FS Thunderbirds. And I am one of the FS Thunderbirds. I am Thunderbird number eight of the Flight Sim Thunderbirds. Uncle Boris, take care. It was really nice meeting you. I appreciate it. So, well, we're just cruising along to the final airport. I'm going to give um, give the uh, display team that I'm a member of a quick shout out. The FS Thunderbirds over here on Twitch. There, oh, ladies and gentlemen, there is no other maneuver more closely associated with the Thunderbirds than the one you're about to see. Look to the left as the diamond approaches. Vomit! What's up? See, perfect timing. Uh, why is it so boring to make checklists for planes? <laughs> I don't know, Henrique. Why is it so boring to make checklists for planes? What's up, Vomit? Vomit is a member of the Thunderbirds as well. Captain Bengo, how are you doing? Good to see you again. Welcome back. Oh, Lord. Airlock doc, don't be making me spend any money when I'm trying to save it. Oh, you're just waking up. Cool. So right when you came in, I posted that. That was perfect timing. We gotta we gotta do some better clips once uh once we start streaming. I gotta get us some better clips. Captain Bengo, I hope you are doing well. Why is it so boring to make checklists for planes? Me neither. What? Oh, I'm doing really well, Captain Bengo. We're coming up on the final airport of the day. Uh, just a few miles away from the final airport, but it's it's been a great day. I've crashed more today than I ever have. Well, not ever, but I, I've crashed more than I have in a while. Um, <laughs> but Bengo, feel free to join. But literally, we are um, about... 30 miles away from the final airport. <laughs> oh, 
hello skipper you're yeah this is true this is true but that's what i'm saving money for well first of all i'm saving money for fs expo first and then i'm paying off some debt so that i can save money for flight lessons this is true this is true just don't tell my wife that jeff Yes, yes you can, Captain. Please do. I don't mind if people add me on Xbox or on uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. Either one, it's fine. Um, no worries at all. And that actually makes it easier for you to spawn in on me um, whenever I'm flying in Microsoft Flight Sim off stream as well. So. Even if I'm not streaming, if you see me in Microsoft Flight Sim, feel free to join join in and fly with me. You got to go? <laughs> no problem, Henrique. Thank you for the bad joke. No, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Always good to see you, Henrique. Have a wonderful rest of your day uh, and be safe. Be safe. Watch who you tell bad jokes too. skipper what's funny what's funny that you said that is um i've actually just talked to her about some new expensive shoes did i already mention that in did i already mention that on stream one time um so i, I actually am looking at some 160 dollars um running shoes not that i'm a runner okay wow man i mean that that's totally freaky that you mentioned about the shoes Oh, you mean that she's checking out expensive shoes? I'm sorry. I, I totally misunderstood what, where you were going with that. But yeah. Um, so I'm actually looking at some expensive shoes for me that are more comfortable standing for long periods of time. So it's just kind of funny that you would mention that. But yeah, I see what you're saying now. That she's not checking out new expensive shoes, right? For herself. Yeah. Uh, Bingo, I am on US East. <laughs> East US server. <laughs> no, that totally freaked me out because I'm like, wait a minute, is Skipper Jeff someone I know in real life? How would he know that I was looking at expensive shoes? Yeah, right. I get flying less and she gets a new wardrobe and a new car. So fun fact, Skipper Jeff, um, she has always been the one to get the new car. She's had, oh gosh, I don't know how many new cars since we've been married. And we've been married for, oh Lord, um, a while. Uh, and last year, I finally got me a new car. I bought a 2021 Jeep Wrangler. So the tide's turning. And she doesn't watch my streams either, so I can say these things. If she was in the... And she's at work too, so she doesn't hear what I'm saying. And she doesn't watch my streams. So I can talk all big and bad and no one... And she is none the wiser. Oh, yes, dear. I'm just kidding. same with your wife you never get anything fun i mean no i get the fun stuff because for years for years i've always done something i know she can still watch the vods she can um for years i've always done something like streaming where i where i make you know some side money to to buy myself things so she knows i mean for years i've i've, I've always bought stuff and like i'll have it shit uh oh oh hey tam we need to change the subject there's my daughter so tam the og is my daughter um who does get on stream and who does listen to my vods 
Hey, Tam. How you doing, babe? No, we weren't just talking about spending money. I know, right? Yeah, so Tam, Tam has, I've had packages shipped to her house. I've also, I've also had packages shipped to the dealership I used to work at. <laughs> Gotta catch a flip flop. I know, yeah, so Tam's kind of my accomplice. My partner in crime. <sighs> Another thing I need to work on, um, on my stream is using the stream deck to create shortcuts where I can look at the gauges easier. Because as it is right now, I can't see the gauges really well. And that's why I have this one gauge sitting right here in front of me. But I need to make it to where, you know, I kind of have a zoomed in view like this of, um, of the gauges. And I know it's easy to do a key bind to make that happen. I just gotta, I just gotta do it, right? <laughs> Jeff, right? And that's what I tried to convince her of. I was like, babe, but we we could we could fly places. Like whenever we go to the beach, we could fly to the beach. And she's like, okay, fly to the beach. What are we gonna drive? Um, babe, we can fly to the beach. We can fly to the beach. And we can fly places on vacation. And then she said, and literally, literally the wheel started turning in my head, like buying my own plane. And she said, so I suppose you're going to want to buy a plane next, right? And I was, you know, think I, I said to myself, well, yes, I mean, that is the logical next step. Um, do you use your alpha's hat switch for quick zooms? Oh, can you do that? Oh, wow. I didn't realize that that was a thing, Captain Arash. Thank you for that. Wow, that's that's amazing. And so I can literally see everything very clearly right here, just in this view. That's perfect. I know, right? So uh, that really helps great for quick glances. Yeah. Thank you. you can do left, right on that hat to check. Yeah, so I've done that before. I have done the left, right before we'll fly in, like to when I'm parallel to the runway to look and see, you know, how close I am and, and where the runway is in relation to where I'm at besides just looking at the map. Uh, but yeah, so, so Skipper, what I'm, what I'm probably going to be looking at once I get my license is maybe, um, being in a flight club. Although my CFI said there is no flight club in the town at the airport in my town, but maybe I could get, go in with some other people and buy an airplane, you know, and split the cost. But yeah, I mean, it, it definitely is expensive, especially even at 135 an hour wet, which means it, it has fuel in it, that still gets really expensive. And then I couldn't fly it overnight. You know, I wouldn't be able to rent it for a trip to the beach for a week. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. So it locks into, yeah, whatever it thinks is closest to me.
alts one through eight are user defined views then you can keep onto your stream deck oh shoot nice didn't realize that thank you In multiplayer, if you're with some obnoxious, obnoxiously unsafe proximity to another player, smart cam will lock them, which makes formation flying. Oh, didn't realize that either. Although I will be learning formation flying soon. As well, so I see the runway for sure. Oh, see, that makes sense. So that's how you form up. And, and I imagine that's how people form up with me, too. Very interesting. Would, does it work outside, too? Oh, so that's the view that Cap Captain Arash, I wondered how you got that view all the time, too. And that's how you get it, using the trigger. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's a cool view. Learning stuff today. It's another thing I, I like about streaming is um, learning along with viewers how to do things. I probably put flaps down a little too early. Not probably. I know I did. Art of Sam was in the Spitfire. Very cool. All right, so as we come up on the uh, final airport of the day, let me just uh, remind everybody what my streaming schedule is. So I normally stream on Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday mornings. I uh, start at 8 a.m. Eastern time, uh, which is 12 noon Zulu time. And then on Friday evenings, I stream starting at 8 p.m. Eastern, which is midnight Zulu time. Oh, no problem, Bingo. I was about to end anyway. So, yeah, that's no problem at all. I'll be back Friday. Um, my next stream will be Friday evening, 8 a.m. I mean, excuse me, 8 p.m. Eastern, which is uh, midnight Zulu time. And what we're going to be doing Friday is we're, we'll be doing a tour of England. Scripture We've got uh, four, four different airports we'll be flying to in England. And I'll be flying the uh, Just Flight Piper Arrow 3. Socks of the day on the right foot. I've got my um, SpongeBob socks, SpongeBob, because he lives in a pineapple under the sea. And we're flying in Japan, which is beside the sea. And then on the left foot, I've got my, um, oh, shoot, palm tree. Sheesh, I don't know why my mind went somewhere else. Palm tree socks on the left, SpongeBob on the right. Those are my socks of the day. Thank you for that. Yes. SpongeBob. I've got two different pairs of SpongeBob socks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, Friday night we'll be touring England. Saturday morning we'll be continuing our Between Two Oceans tour. We're going to leave Japan and fly into uh, some islands that are owned by Russia. And then I'm taking a week off. So I'll be on vacation next week. So no no stream uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday of next week. And then soon I'll be doing a stream uh, showcasing the uh, mod that um, Skipper Jeff gave to me earlier today. 
and then i've got to schedule a vat sim a vat sim educational stream one friday so that myself and others can learn how to get rid of the jitters of vat sim hello Captain Rosh, thank you for the lurk. Appreciate that lurk, Captain Rosh. All right, we are coming up on our final airport of the night, or, or the day. For me, anyways. Might be night for some of you guys. Flaps are down. <laughs> well yeah there's that airlot doc oh wow what an approach with a power line right across the runway i wonder if it's like that in real life Oh, that was a little harder than what I usually do. Yeah, I did go in shallow. Okay, fit is like that too. Wow. Oh, thank you, Dippo. Michelle, how's it going, my friend? Good to see you. I hope you are well. It's John Pookie. So this is the final airport of the day. I am. Uh, I'm actually a little bit late. Um, I'm gonna end up being at work a little bit late, but that's okay. I don't have a specific time that I have to be there, but I do like to be there by 1 p.m. But I got a couple little chores I got to do on the honeydew list. before I leave for work and got to eat too, but I might just bring my lunch with me. All right, you know what? I'm going to park over here right where Sam is. There we go. So sorry to be so rushed here at the end. I really do apologize. Um, I usually like to let everyone land and get a group shot of us and everything, but today... Um, I ran a little bit late today, just, you know, playing around and I crashed a couple times. So that's totally my fault. So someone had a suggestion on who to raid, who, um, who had the raid suggestion and who was it? Oh, Falco Falco's who we're going to raid. That's right. Okay. So let me get this raid set up really quick. Excuse me. All right, so we'll raid Falco. Oh yeah, let me see what live weather looks like. Oh my gosh. This is why I didn't fly live weather today. All right, so we're gonna raid Falco really quick before the raid starts. Let me uh, run through my list of thank yous to everybody. Um, so Miss Max Knight, thank you so much for the resub. It was really nice seeing you. Uh, Chipotle, thank you for the follow. Uh, Ali Tan, thank you for the follow. Disco Steve with 200 biddies, thank you for that. Uh, Uncle Boris, thank you for the follow. Ivan, thank you for the follow as well and for the amazing raid. Thank you so very much for that. 
a dc viper with 200 bits thank you for that uh canada swimmer thank you for the follow bucky hun thank you for the follow as well dc viper with 500 bits thank you for that and uh andy rocks i can't remember if andy rocks followed me after stream yesterday or during stream but either way thank you andy y'all take care everybody uh raid messages if you are a sub this is your message and as i always say except yesterday subs are always appreciated never expected if you're not a sub that's perfectly fine this is your raid message second message is yours y'all take care of yourselves good to see you i'll be back friday 8 p.m eastern time midnight zulu take care everybody happy flying let's start this raid right now <laughs>